We've got one viewer waiting. Oh, that's good. Hello, one viewer waiting. Oh, oh, excellent condition. We have it. Okay. Okay, yes, we are live. <laughs> it wasn't painful at all. Oh, there's a bunch of white space at the bottom of these as well, which is good. Ah, oh, yes, that white space is when you add weapons and abilities, powers, talents, that sort of stuff. They appear there. Okay. Shall we look at beginning? Yeah, so I've changed the layout a little bit. <clears throat> yep. Um, I can see it. Yep, that's fine. I mean, I think it's fine with, um, yeah, when we create the character, just to have the character sheet in the middle. Yeah, true. But anyway, but. let's go character creation. I'm showing you the creation tools. We have a couple of viewers, which is nice. I guess one's you. Uh, no, I'm not watching your stream, sorry. Oh, that, okay. No, I'm only watching the content on my one. Um... I've only got two monitors. I can probably set it up. That's fine. I was just, I was just curious. I've got two viewers, that's all. I was like, oh, hello, viewers. Ah, cool. <laughs> right, so do you have the character creation? Did that pop up for you? It did. Yes, it did. It did. Okay, so we will start with Rando the fourth. I just want to do which will be one thing. I'll just tweet out one thing. She's streaming. Oh, yes. Because I never always, do I tweeted it out about 10 minutes ago. Oh, in 20 minutes. Got you. Yes. What's the best? Oh, okay, cool. Actually, I can see this. Yep. Right. Um, Is fantasy I... age a hashtag? Uh, no, I don't think it is. I'm sorry. Ah. That's why I just been green Ronan. Okay. Yeah, they're usually pretty good. They like and they, um, you know, share and that sort of stuff. But possibly not today because it's still Sunday for them. Okay, so shall we make a start on rolling some rando dice? Nope, have I lost Lee? Nope, I'm just, I'm just, nope. just playing. Oh, so okay. Uh, <laughs> dot com slash Lee Howe 25. I just want to put my uh, thing out there, so. Fair enough. Because I always got one viewer. Yep. Hello, viewer. I don't know who you are. I can't actually see the name of the people viewing. <clears throat> All right, sweet. Things have been tweeted okay. out. Right, let's get started then. Abilities. So this is okay, interesting this week. We're going to have a, you've actually got a story lined up, have you? I've got a bit of a story. So I would recommend, I mean, for this particular one, you're going to need some sort of DPS slash tank and most likely someone who knows about necromancy or that sort of stuff. Um, ice magic, that sort of stuff. Okay, so accuracy two. Nice. Communication Oof. of three. That's Oof. pretty good. Constitution zero. Dexterity uh -oh. zero. Oh, I've got my out of the way the game. I know. Fighting three. This could be your DPSer. Definitely, yeah. Uh, intelligence one. Not a mage. Perception zero. <sighs> Strength zero <laughs> and willpower two. Maybe a major for you swap things around. Yeah, I'll switch things around, yeah. Okay, so all up, that's what, five, ten, that's eleven. So that's about average. Okay. It's a bit up and down, isn't it? It is. But that can change. So let's have a look at the race we're going to play as. Okay, you are playing a dwarf. a dwarf. I've been a dwarf before in this game. I don't think you have, have you? No. Okay. Uh, race is dwarf. D-W-A-R-F. 
Okay, we add one to our constitution. Nice. We can choose constitution drinking or intelligence evaluation. Drinking so that is, is constitution drinking. Which makes so you sense. are a drinking dwarf, yes. What a shock. Actually. Yeah, dark sight, your speed is eight because you have little stubby feet. Okay, the abilities. I see I have made a spelling error on that. I've put a comma, uh, not a comma, an open bracket next to benefit, but we'll ignore that. Plus one fighting. Okay, eight. Plus one to fighting. Nice. Hmm. A little fighting, and angry, drunk dwarf. second one. Oh, Eleven, which is engineering. intelligence engineering. Okay, so some sort of siege dwarf. Yeah, I mean, make stuff. A builder, yeah. Okay, what sort of background is it? Okay, let me go back. Backgrounds, backgrounds. Core? Core rule book backgrounds. Backgrounds. A soldier. Well, this is complete sense. Okay, so you have, uh, that is a lower class. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll put soldier, S-O-L-D-U-R-E. Did I spell that right? S-O-L-D-I-E-R. I did not spell that right. No, that's normal. <laughs> Social class lower. And once again, we get a choice of accuracy brawling or communication gambling. Oh, accuracy sorry. brawling it is. Didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get to the, bring up the page on it. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I was a page behind, still clicking buttons randomly. Nope, that's all good. Um, so you've got accuracy brawling as your last focus. Uh, next one will be class. I'm really hoping warrior or mage, because we can play with both of these. You know I'm not going to be either of those, don't you? You're probably going to be a rogue. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> rogue. <Yep. laughs> okay, rogue it is. Know how this is going to work as a rogue, but hey, that's... Okay, um, constitution, well, 25 plus 1d6 plus constitution. So I think what we should look at doing is swapping some things around. Fighting is completely useless for a dwarf, uh, for a rogue. For a rogue? I wonder how many thief dwarfs there are. Very unusual. I don't know, but you kind of need dexterity. So I would seriously put uh, swap dexterity in fighting. And you'll possibly need perception, so I would look at either willpower or communication and perception as your two swaps. Uh, willpower. Because willpower is okay. not much use for a dwarf, is it, a thief, sorry? A, uh, a no. So willpower and deception, and then, yep, you want to swap fighting and dexterity. Mm-hmm. Cool. So that'll be three to fighting and one to dexterity. No, sorry, one to fighting, three to dexterity, and one on constitution. Okay, so we can roll roll a d6 for me. Five and six, so it is 25 plus five is 30. You get 31 hit points. That's not bad. Not too bad. Weapons. Um, weapons, yes. You black get powder. black power. Black okay. power? Powder, my bad, yes. <laughs> black power, excellent. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, were they? they were light blades, staves, brawling, and black powder. I think that's it, isn't it? Yes. And your main is accuracy, communication, dexterity, and perception. All right. We have pinpoint accuracy and rogue's armor, and you get to choose contact, scouting, or thievery. Possibly a 1d6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, so that is dexterity, scouting. Let's get all of these up. Powers is... And rogue's armor, they are good. Uh, now the next thing, I think that's everything for level one. Next thing is start and equipment. We get backpack, 
Traveler's oh, Garb like. and Water Skin. We oh, yeah. get information's appeared in that little white space. How cool is that? Yeah. I can't see your few um things. Oh no, I'm just starting to see it appear now. Cool. Now two weapons. Um oh. you've got pretty decent oh, okay. accuracy. Yes. So uh let's see. I would definitely take some sort of black powder weapon, maybe in I don't know, do you want to go close quarters with a Bunderblus or do you want to have an Archibus? What's an Archibus? Or just Archibus is sort of like a flintlock rifle. So you got a flintlock rifle, oh, a shotgun, or a pistol. Let's go Blunderbuss. Oh, no, Blunderbuss. pistol makes more sense, surely, for subtle kind of more roguey. Cool. Pistol it is. And you've got brawling accuracy, so... You could look at getting yourself some heavy gauntlets to do some punching with. I don't think that's very roguey, though. No. Um, how a... I mean, I'll give you fists anyway, because Const everybody can uh, punch fists. with fist. Yep. yep. Uh, light blades, maybe a dagger or a short sword. Yes, that would make sense, like a little dagger or something. Or close quarters Sweet. sort of stuff, yeah. Okay, let's get your equipment. So you have light leather armor, and you have three weapons activated. Um, do, do, do. You should see in your little, the little white. Yeah, so has now can I still click out. on these? I'm just going to test it so I can click on these. And and each. Oh, perfect. Yep. Okay, cool. And what makes it a bit it? easier than the big giant sheet? And click on attack for attack. Oh. Yep. Perfect. And you can <clears> click on like accuracy, it'll roll accuracy. You can click on brawling to roll that. Or engineering for those sort of tests. Not actually seeing. There we go. Yep, Eleven perfect. for your engineering. Okay. Alright, so that's the weapons. Uh next thing will be money. You get yourself. Is it lower? It is lower. So 38 silver, how does that sound? That's not bad. Equipment, 38. Right, so you're a dwarven rogue. I'm going to just have a quick little cheat here, and I'm going to put on there a dwarven rogue um, little avatar thingy for you. So let's see. I don't see those. Search for... And yes, my little will. mini screens? Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, D W A R F. So I have Guard Dwarf, Bandit Dwarf. You know what? I'm going to do that. And then I am going to do a nice little copy you over. And then I'm going to add a frame. And this is going to be a character frame. And then I'm going to zoom in and OK. There we go. Um, you won't see it on your little one, but you will see it on the map. Okay. If I go to the map and I get Rando the fourth. Yep, Rando, a broke Rando the fourth. That actually suits with that little silver. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> I can't see this, can I? No, you can't. Not, Not at okay, all. Cool. Not yet. <laughs> okay, the next thing is I think because of the nature of this one, I think we should level this character up one level. Ooh. Exciting. Yes. I've never done a level up on a character before. No. So for rogues, if we zoom down to level two, you get a stunt bonus, which basically means you can perform the Pierce Armor stunt for one stunt point instead of two. Do you know how you often use that to half the opponent's armor? Yes. It now costs less. Oh. You can now use stunt. Uh, you can now use um, Pierce Armor and your lethal attack in the same round. That's awesome. So you get that, and then the next thing you get is uh, I roll a... Oh, no, you also get to add one to one of your primary stats, and you get to choose a focus for a primary stat. So what stat would you like to go up? 
Uh, so which ones were you saying are important? Was it perception? I would and... say dexterity. Put that to four, and that four. would most likely <clears throat> give you ten point attack on every attack. Let's do that. It's over that on cool. accuracy, isn't it? I guess, but. Um, well, to compensate for the accuracy, what I would recommend is what weapon will you be using the most? Choose that as a focus, so you'll be getting a plus four on that. Probably my dagger, so I would imagine. Your dagger, okay. So that will be light blades from memory. Character focus, we have... Let me just scroll down to light blades. There it is. So now when you attack with a dagger, you'll be getting a plus four on it. Wow, okay. Awesome. And you have a dexterity of four, so yeah, you're pretty well set up. Uh, the last thing is roll a d6 again. So you get five more hit points, that puts you to 36 hit points. And that's how simple it is to level up a character. Well, that's way easier, isn't it? <clears throat> it is. I'm sure it used to take like half an hour, an hour or so to do it last time. Nope very very simple with this um the next the very very last thing is do you want to buy any items um health please <laughs> a health potion a couple health yep. potions please I think um, they are 12 so you can get three of them or you can get two and still have 14 silver uh is it worth getting lockpicks and stuff like that will i be proficient in them actually yes it will be um, so let's see, I'm how much just come? looking for items, and I will show that to you. So, potions. You want two base health potions at 12. And is it is it under professional gear, lockpicking? Um, is it under tools? We've got a skinning knife here. Shovel, tongs, nope, uh, equipment. I don't think it's under... Lock picks, lock picks 12 equipment. Yeah, I got it. Yes. So that leaves you two silver left. Oh, that's fine. I'll keep that. Uh, you silver. can actually get rope 20 yards. I don't know if you'll need it, but you can get rope 20 oh, yards. Oh, well, let's get some rope then. Makes me feel like I'm doing something. Okay. We have a level two rogue with no money, which really <laughs> suits him because on the uh, board, <clears throat> he is called Broke Rando the Fourth. Okay. Up All right, cool. Token. Let's have a look at the copy. Uh, who shall we name Rando the fourth copy? Like, is it Rando's cousin, mother, sister, brother? Second, second cousin, twice removed. Okay. <laughs> or just second cousin would probably be fine. I don't know if you fit in the whole, all the words. How do you spell cousin? That is the biggest question. C O U S I N, doesn't it? Yeah, I was putting S D N. Didn't look right. No, S D N. You got two watches. Hello, second watch. Twice removed. Yep, no, he is the second cousin twice removed, so that makes him a baggins, doesn't it? <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> I was thinking that if he's if he's human, at least it won't be kind of too weird. Yes, true. <laughs> Unless right. we just make him a cousin, make him another dwarf, another dwarf adventure. We can, but that doesn't sound very rando like. No, not random at all. No, but you know. No. Oh well, let's go right back to the beginning and let's roll a batch new abilities. I'm just going to clear the chat window. Okay, accuracy zero. zero. This is a good start. Three for communication. Other three communication. Yeah, we're talking. Uh, minus one. Wow. Minus one for con. Oh, oh Ouch. Ouch. Just the one for dex. Yep. Zero for fighting. This is not going to be a very good roll, is it? I can tell now. I've got no. a feeling in my bones. One for intelligence. <laughs> one for perception. <laughs> Two for strength. And zero for willpower. Now that was a shocker. But Okay. Yeah. That there is two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, oh, He's a bit dumb. Average is 11, so this is pretty terrible. Is there anything we can just make him a DPS and just fights and hit things hard? Could you just do that? I th think you do need to hit things hard. Um, I can't see the yeah. thief being much used in that, so at least it can just be like his dumb mate who runs around hitting things. <laughs> Communication's high, though. Don't know what use that is for a person who's got nervous stats. I think we should stop uh, swap that with maybe Constitution. Maybe make this guy a tank. 
Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sort of thinking. Yeah. Yeah. He just walks up and hits things. Well, walks up and gets hit. Oh, walks up and gets hit. Sorry. Hopefully hits things, but yeah, mostly <laughs> gets hit. Yes. He has got cool. a strength of well, two and a corner of three. Actually, it would work. It'll probably be another rogue, though. It would. Just to, yeah, yeah, I hope not. Actually, I hope it's not a mage. That would oh, be terrible. Oh, yeah, that'd be bad. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the race. Okay. Let's have some let's some luck with the race, please. What the hell's that? I've not been at Orion before. Oh, we have a Travis Webster. He is watching while making Lego. That does sound like fun. Is it right, Star Wars Lego? I hope it's D&D Lego. Huh. We've got a whole <laughs> bunch of viewers for some reason. You've got a whole um, bunch of viewers. Orin. Yeah, I've got three. That is pretty cool. Four okay, so nice. Orin's are basically like your Warforge from um, from D&D. &D. Slow to uh, anger. So they get a plus one <laughs> on constitution. <laughs> Thoughtful, thorough, and slow to anger. Orin's are mistakenly believed to be somewhat unintelligent. <laughs> I can perfect. see that. <laughs> we actually, the game we played with my uh, mate, my wife, my brother, and my son, and my mate's son, um, because we didn't really want two eight year olds trying to decide on an individual character, we created them identical Orions who uh, they basically were one unit, but two people moving around the battlefield, and they each got to roll, and you chose the highest of whatever. So oh, it's that's good. Effectively, they had advantage. One of them had a um, rifle. The other one had a huge mallet. And while the rifle was using, you know, while the rifle was being reloaded, the huge mallet would whack. It is a big tow truck set. Okay, that does, yeah, that does sound like fun. Um, they're making a Lego tow truck set. Okay. Um, anyway, we can pick strength, intimidation, or constitution stamina. So <coughs> let's do a 50-50 roll. Let's go full stop. Oh. Intimidation. intimidation. I do like the names. So theme name is Ank, Ker, Ding, Clink, Pung, Sheik, Sure, Tap, Vert, or Zap. So should we do this rando zap? Zap. <laughs> I like ding, actually. <laughs> okay, rando's ding. Yeah, rando ding. <laughs> I like ding. It's a, it's a solid name. Rando's ding it is. Well, that sounds kind of rude, but yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, um, so these guys don't require health. They require, funnily enough, an engineering role to fix. How cool is that? Oh, well, Didn't there we you have go. A engineering. <laughs> Brilliant. That is cool. Um, speed is ten plus dex minus armor. That's all good. Now these guys can get pretty cool. I mean, Ooh. they if you roll a five, you can get armored, and that'll make them full tank. Oh, well, let's do that. Come on, let's be good. Yes. I like this actually. You can speak and read common plus one language of their choice. I reckon it should be dwarven. Okay, that. Yes, definitely. So they I'm can going have to a go quietly. E W A R V E N. So they can have a talk quietly amongst themselves and not actually have anyone know what they're talking about. Yep, that definitely makes sense. Right. Okay. Come on then. Okay. So we need we, we need, need five. five. We need five. five. I don't care about anything else but five. So what we're actually going to get is something completely useless. Uh, probably plus yeah, accuracy. Uh, probably get well, two. we're probably actually. I was thinking historical lore. Oh <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, yeah, we did. Plus oh, one fighting. fighting. Oh well, that's not actually too that's bad. not that bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It could have been way worse. So, I saw two high yeah. numbers and I thought, oh, we have actually got it, but it was actually two sixes. But... <clears throat> okay, cool. Okay, roll a second time. Yes. Please be fine. Please. Yes, it is a yes. five. We are armored. Whoa! Yeah, this a proper is tank. Cool. Okay, now we can start swapping stuff over. I'm thinking, yeah, once again, communication and constitution. So communication minus one, constitution yep. three. Yep. One and constitution three, which will put the constitution to a grand total of four with that boost we got. Um, now we've we got move? strength there. Say intelligence and fighting, that'll then give us a fighting of two. Yeah, Actually, or we don't I was thinking that. Going. 
Sorry? We don't need to know the class. Oh, yeah. Should we do that now? Yes. Because this is one time I'm actually hoping for a fighter. I know, yeah. Uh, so backgrounds. Uh, oh, background let's, first. Let's do yep. background first. Get to kind of... Yeah, we're... Companion. I think this is one of the first times we've done a companion background. A hedge, hedge wizard. wizard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, that is lower. Oh, that's just background shame. is head wizard and lower. Okay, um, 50 50 roll. We can either take healing or natural law. Sorry, performance or arcane law. So, did okay, you say at the beginning of this you needed something kind of some sort of law? Um, I was, was going to say. Undead would be preferable. Arcane. Well, basically magic, necromantic yeah. magics. Oh, arcane. That could be. Handy. I don't know. It could. Arcane's magics. I don't have access to it. Okay, let's go class. I'm scared. Who the best know. out of three? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, we don't want a rogue. We've already yeah. got a rogue. Yeah. Okay. Reroll. No, I don't want to make it really. Should just make him a fighter just to make it easier? Yeah, let's make him a fighter. Yeah, We're we... slightly breaking the rando rule in yeah. the skies of fighter. <laughs> He'll not work as a mage. Okay, cool. Uh, fighter. Warrior. Okay. <clears throat> uh, roll me a d6. Oh, no, don't want d8. Just want d6 on its own. A tree. That is a three. So I'm just right now looking at making... What are the Warforge called in Pathfinder? I'm going to guess you don't remember. Or no? No. Either, no. either okay. both. Yeah. Um, T-R-U-C-T. I'm just going to have a look for a construct. And I'm going to make him into a construct. That's good enough for me. So question, do you know Travis? Um, I do believe I know Travis. Okay, it says we're watching, that's all. Which I was like, oh, that's weird. Oh, cool. It means there's a group. Yeah. Has Travis, have you played any of this sort of games before? Have you an idea what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got three plus three is six, so 36 health. 36 health. Uh, let's go for the weapons. I'm really hoping you get something like bludgeoning. Brilliant. Blaster pistols. Yep. Get two, don't I? You get three, actually. Brawling. Blaster pistols, grenades. Oh, some bludgeons. Oh, bludgeons. bludgeons. That's what I was watching. <laughs> I was trying to be sneaking and do it fast just so you catch it out. Nice, no, or. <laughs> um, we get starting talent. We start off with armor training. I would almost say two-handed weapon and weapon and shield would be two good choices. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Because if we choose three weapons, we can get ourselves a club and a shield, and then we can get ourselves a two-handed maul. Perfect. Okay. Uh, weapon and shield, armor training, there we go. Um, class is mostly done. So let's go to the last one, which is equipment. We have backpack, traveler's garb, water skin. If you are a warrior, you get heavy leather and three weapons. And okay. weapons under the bludgeoning, we have a maul. Yes. Okay, so a mace is 2d6 damage plus your strength. Um, a maul is 1d6 plus 3, which pretty much makes it um, on a par. I mean, statistically, you're going to roll either a 3 or a 4 for damage, so they're kind of the same. And then a two-handed maul is 2d6 plus 3. Minimum strength equals 3, it says on that one, though, for a maul. Uh, you don't have enough for a two-handed dam. Mm. That is true. Okay, so I'm thinking one of the other two. Uh, let's, oh, go you for, get let's go for a maul. 
Okay, so we'll go for one more. I think we should go for a is that, shield. Is it better, though, to get the other one? Because that's 12 points plus, oh, I see it's saying 12, or one's nine. But the maximum of the other one's nine, isn't it? Or is the other one's max of 12? Yes. So you have a higher chance of rolling more with a mace, but you also, if you roll two ones, then you are, at your current thing, you're going to be hidden for four damage. Whereas if you choose a maul and you roll a one, the minimum roll you will be getting would be six damage. Six. Okay, yeah, cool. Go for the maul. So, yeah. Um, okay, so that's one weapon. You also got, what was a blast of pistols. Yep. Did you want some sort of... Well, we could basically say that the construct has some sort of lightning pistol built into its arm. Ooh, okay. It's not very accurate, but we can definitely do it. And then the last one is grenades. What's a grenade would you like? Uh, a nice explodey one, please. A blast one. Okay. Blast vials. And we'll do some of that. Oh, I should get a lightning one, though, really, because that's like my... Goes with my construct thing. There we go. We've got a lightning vial. And the very, very last thing to do is a shield. And we will definitely activate the shield. Okay, so you've got an armor of six. I do like that. Uh, money. That's the last money. thing to roll. Am I lower? You are lower. Okay, 36 gold. That's, That's two less than the other one. W-A-R-I-O-R. Equipment is 36. So you get three items. You don't need to do any form of... Um, what are those things called? Health potions. Simply because this guy can't take health potions. Oh, that's interesting. So how yes. does he heal? Or does he not? Uh, what you are going to have to do is... I would look at getting the other guy to... Um, get a repair kit of some sort. And out of that repair kit... Uh, he just makes an engineering test. So I might buy some repair kits. Because <clears throat> the other guy's got no money left, does he? Correct. Yeah. I'm just trying to remember where the repair kit was. Professional gear. Um, nope, tools. Possibly under tools. Yeah, I don't know if repair kit is in here. So we could basically make a repair kit. We have... Uh, Tongs, crowbar, and a hammer. How does that sound for a repair kit? You always need a hammer, yep. Okay, so I'm going to load up Rando the fourth, and I'm going to give him an iron hammer worth five, crowbar worth three, so that makes us eight, and then hand tongs worth one, so that is nine silver off of Rando's ding. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you still have 25. Now, how much was armor? Do you remember? Because if we make this guy super armored, like I'm thinking light mail or how something like that. To, light mail is... How do I get to gear on here? Uh, okay. Armor, money. Armor, money, defense. Starting so I, I... If I share... Uh, here, I will ping it off to you. Oh, I think I have it. to show you. I've got it. I've you got, got it. it. I've got it. Yep. I found it. I was clicking around. So medium, what would you go for? Whoa, it's really heavy. I it's really expensive though. So the most you can if, afford is actually light. And he's already got light. He's got... Oh, he can well, sell actually his light. He's got, Sorry. I keep talking. I think, you. yeah, I think you're right. If he sells his light... Yes. He might be able to get... Um, How much would you like to give me my, my unused, pristine uh, light armor? Okay. It's worth 15, if it was new. No, so it's worth 30. Because he got heavy leather. 30. Yeah, what, he got heavy leather, did he? Oh, right, okay. He's got heavy leather. Um, I've got so many tabs open, I'm struggling to find the one. Okay, you have 25 left. 
Ah, so if I, could you give yeah. me 25 for my medium, for my heavy lever? I could, and that would give you zero, and you would have enough for light mail. Yes, correct. Okay. Looking like a bit so parching. Light mail, we delete that one, and we go with that. There we go. No money left. Your ally has some repair <clears throat> tools. Um, Armor seven, which is nice. Yep. Okay. Last thing to do is a level up. So we make this character level two. So for a fighter, uh, let's see what were it was constitution, dexterity, fighting, and strength, I believe, are your primary. Should we bump that someone? Because it's only at one. Um, that would give you a bit more defense. That. But then you won't hit as hard. But yes, I think you're right. We boost dexterity up to two. And that gives you a defense of 14, a speed of 12. Um, and then I would almost say give yourself fighting brawling. How would that be? Okay, I mean, so you can actually hit. <laughs> that would probably be handy. Yeah. Oh, sorry, not bra brawling, bludgeoning. Bludgeoning. Oh, I see. Yes. Yes, because, because your mall uses bludgeoning. So if I roll that, oh, then we can see. I saw a six, oh, and I was like, that's exciting. Well, I just rolled an 18. Hmm. Plus two for fighting, plus two for bludgeoning. That means you rolled a 14. That's that's good. Nice, yep. All right. Um, now, I'm thinking we should possibly... Oh, what happened there? Something weird happened, but that's all right. Okay, I'm going to activate the Winter Throne, so you should pop in. We have Grandiose Rando the Third. That's not his name. Grandiose Ran Grandiose Ding. And you can see you have actual icons yes. instead of the little people. Um, they're grayed out when I click on them, though. Well, the, they it's all are. Dark. It's all dark. Yeah. Oh, the game's paused. Don't worry. It's fine. Okay. So you can oh, click no. and move them now. Uh, yeah, but there's making lights. There's no light. Ah, um, give me a sec. Let me. How's that looking? That is better. Yeah, I just thought it normally changes when you're walking around. That's all. But uh, it should be. I mean, this is meant to be a dark scene. I don't have the mod that lets me change the exact time. That's cool. Now, oh, no, it is I know it's working because am... there's some blackness over here which I can't see. So yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. I am just wondering if we do one more rando, and with that rando we force a mage. Oh, okay, yeah. But, I mean, we can try it with two. You should be able to do with two, but it's up to you. Can you handle playing with three characters? Yeah, probably. I was just thinking whether we just go for two and just see how it goes. Yeah, okay, we'll go with two. Just keep off, because if he finds it all goes horror wrong, we can always you know, do it next time with three. Or something yeah okay so you guys have um basically heard it's quite a nice area you live in but you have heard there's one particular spot just to the north of where you are that is completely frozen uh the area is quite tempered and it's quite a warm arid sort of environment so you know grasslands planes that sort of stuff mm -hmm. the fact that next to this hill everything is just dead and frozen is quite a mystery many adventurers have come to try and solve this mystery and none have survived oh okay interesting so we're on a mission and i just had on. a thought that yeah. we possibly should have given that um, the guy a plus one to strength and he could have had a two-handed but doesn't matter oh <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry. Um, so, yeah, you guys have come up there. Uh, the ground is completely frozen. You can see a little bit of a lake in front of you that is frozen solid with some trees growing out um, of it. It's yep. really weird because the actual water on top of the ground, it's sort of bulging up, and that's what's frozen, as if the water was you know, bubbling out and just snap froze. You've got a huge tree next to you, which is completely dead. You can see cliff faces with an entrance to the north of you. And you can see another dead tree with uh, what looks like a hovel built into it. 
And from there, you can smell something very weird coming from the hovel. Uh, okay. I'm just looking at your YouTube channel. It's all frozen. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's not frozen up. Okay, cool. That's all right. I need to refresh the page. For some reason, it was broken. Um, okay. So how long has it been like this for? Ages? Or is it all new? Um, about 15-odd years. Oh, like, okay. heaps of people have come to this. Everyone knows to avoid this area. Um, anyone who comes close just vanishes. Just goes around it. How big is the area? Quite small. It's not that big. It's about... Like, it started getting cold about a kilometre away, and now it's completely frozen. It's like you're in the Arctic. But the a kilometre away, the, air is, the air, air is cold, yes. And does it seem to be... Um, has anyone gone around it to find out how big the area is? Like, is there a centre to it, do you think? What does it feel like? Um, no, most people actually try and avoid it. Farmers no longer ha farm around here. Most adventurers just bypass it. Okay. Um, the roads have even changed to go closer to the coast, so Are it there avoids any, the sea. Anything living here? Any tracks? Uh, make a perception test for me. I probably should have a 12 and a 13. Um, you can see some slight animal tracks that are going over. They look like uh, standard deer or, you know, some sort of Just cattle, no that sort of stuff. Mind. Um, yeah. Nothing human is around here. Anything dead? Anything dead? No, you can't actually see. Like these trees are snap frozen. They're not even moving. So it looks like they are dead. And it looks like this big tree survived but died off later on. So it's just the trunk. Okay. That's the big tree up here. Yep. Uh, we might just start mooching into the area then slowly, just having a lose around. Okay. Um, Go for it. Who's got the best? Who's got the best with like perception? Have we got? Oh, okay. I don't so, actually know. Yeah, the uh, thief has got better eyes, which makes sense. Yes, the pe th thief does. Yeah. Okay, so thiefy boy should go ahead. Oh, not around us. Let's make a walk. I don't know if this is the right direction. Let's keep wandering over this way. Um, any caves or anything around or? You can see one coming up here. It actually has an ornate entrance next to it. What used to be here? Like, as in, why is there an ornate edge? Be in a area? historical or an arcane, well, a historical law test. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Historical law, I cannot so do. I can do arcane law. Intelligence. Um, intelligence. I will let you do arcane law for. Um, right, okay. So ignore that first channel. roll. Ignore the first roll. Oh, actually, it's the same as. Well. It's, well, it's two more, which is fine. Um, there are rumours that this used to be a sort of hideout for the king. Um, you know, back in ye old ancient times. Ye um, oldie. It, yep. yep, ye oldie. It was kind of, you know, when war breaks out, the kings will go and hide in an area. This is reportedly that point there. Um, your arcane law test, when you roll that, you can actually detect some sort of magic emanating from within here. And you know with your historical law that the last king that used this place uh, had nothing to do with magic. He was very anti-magic. Well, how long ago was this? Like a long, long, long time ago, hundreds of years ago. Uh, I'm talking about 100 years ago. Okay. Uh, would my engineering help at all here? Like looking at the building and the build of Actually, it? Actually, it would, that? yes. <clears throat> ah. That's a very good roll. Mm. With your engineering <laughs> roll, you can see that this was, in fact, made by dwarfs. It is very sturdy construction. Um, it's, well, the front part, from what you can tell, comes in, uh, you know, hidden into it up here, is definitely a nice constructed thing designed for... Um, basically holding off sieges it's almost like you know what an is it an obligate or an uh, i'm trying to think of the name a french name where it's for, a forget me passage so oh okay no i don't know that it basically it's a hidden little area that um, a lot of castles have a little back door um 
you can remember in the siege for Helm's Deep how um, Aragorn and Gimli went through a little tiny door off to the side that they couldn't get. This is the sort of, it's been designed to be a part of the actual wall. It has fallen apart, but it is incredibly good construction. And it looks like after 100 years of this sort of weather, it's only just started to fall apart, which is why you can notice it now. Got you. Okay. Um, as I'm wandering, I'm just looking behind me over to the right-hand side as well, as I'm walking through this little gap here, just to see if there's anything kind of guarding, stalking. So I'm kind of just keeping close to the trees as I go through here. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to go to like here, just to have a sneak around the corner. <clears throat> uh, looks like you're searching for something on the chat. Oh, does it? You've got a search function. Oh, I did have it up, yeah, because I was trying to find out what an Oblig Geek was. And I couldn't find it. Uh, it's gone now. Yeah. Um, nope, that's all cool. Um, as you guys are rounding there, you look up and you can actually see a withered old lady sitting on her step um, drinking something that has green vapours coming out of it. She's sitting at the front of her house. Whereabouts, sorry? So I was missing that. Whereabouts? Oh, over there. Sorry, I can't see that bit. Aha, uh -huh. oh, okay. <clears throat> so we're saying withered old lady. Very withered old lady. Okay. So she's not affected by the cold? She doesn't seem to be eating, <laughs> living off the land um, or anything? Honestly, like the clothes she's <clears throat> wearing, it looks like light black rags. Um, she does not seem to be affected at all. She must be a witch. Okay, so um, I've got, got no sort of way of telling about witchy stuff, have I? No, arcane law, I suppose I could tell. Is there any rumours of someone living in this area? Not at all. But you do know people go missing. However, she doesn't seem to be making, um, like, make a perception <coughs> test for me, actually. Just standard. Just standard. Oh, yeah, that's all I've got, actually, so no. oh, one button. Perception. I can see why. Your characters cannot see her. No, I can see nothing. Okay, if you move up, oh, you should okay. be able to see her. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't looking at the uh, view. True. Yeah, your line of sight. Okay, 16. Uh, her eyes are completely white. Uh, okay, what does that mean? Arcane law, tell me that, what she means? Um, well, milky white <clears throat> as, a, as she in she has taken no over. She's, she's not actually there. This no, 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 she thing. has no pupils, no irises, no nothing. So you can assume that she's completely blind. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, but she's not seen us or heard us? She doesn't look know. like she's poked her head up or made any reaction to us coming around the corner? She's literally just sitting there drinking. Okay, I might just approach her because, hey, what's what's the worst? As an old woman, what's the worst that can happen to an old lady? Fair enough. <laughs> so we should just wonder about how far it is. Yep. Uh, um, I do want you to make an acrobatics test, which is under dexterity for both of you, walking mm. across that ground. I actually have. Easy peasy. Pff, we actually have decent yep, acrobatics. Yep, no, that's still. fine. Our decks is one thing we did manage to get quite good on both characters. Yes. <clears throat> uh, as you approach her, she puts down her tea. She's sort of she's looking up and in different directions, and um, she says, "Hello, people. Do you care to to entertain an old lady and have tea with me today?" Sure. Let's do this. Okay. Yep. Hello. How's it going? Very good, kind sir. How would you like your tea? Uh, I'll have it the same way as you. That's fine. She pours out two more things. Uh, the actual liquid is black, but it is emanating a very green sort of smoke coming out of it. Okay, what does it smell like? Can I detect what it is and the smell of it? What's in it? It smells absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean it's good. Mm. Uh, arcane law would that tell if this is magical this sort of stuff yes it would okay so let's just do a quick arcane law before touching it just uh ding will look at i need i feel like random is a better name but ding will look at random and say well just one second as he kind of has a think for himself mm -hmm. oh. uh you have no knowledge of <laughs> this at all. <laughs> oh that's perfect it's just tea <laughs> it's just tea. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get. I've got managed to get a um a thing on my screen now. And I can't get rid of it. How do I get rid of that? 
Oh, that's okay. Right clicked on it. So cool. <laughs> Would have liked the second roll better, but no. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, sorry. That's one roll. One roll. No, I know. Yeah, that's all good. Um, Nico, do we sit down? Is she sat down at the table or something? Or just lean against the... Uh, you can sit there. You can do anything. Um, however, if you drink, obviously um, Ding does not require any tests because he doesn't eat or drink. However, Broke Rando, I would like you to make a drinking test, something which, you are actually good at. Which is, yes. What is that under? Constitution drinking. I've actually got that, so that's just bizarre. <laughs> 13. Um, it tastes like it smells. However, once you ingest it, <clears throat> things do go a little bit wobbly, but you basically shake your head and blink, and nothing happens. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's good. So, so what's your yep. name? Hi, how's it going? I am Rando the Fourth, and this is my my cousin, uh, Ding. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, good sirs. I, 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 you won't know me, but maybe you know the name Baba Yaga. Do I know the name Baba Yaga? A uh, fairly common name in Russian literature, the Baba Yaga, the witch. Um, oh, Hellboy okay. lore, I think, has Baba Yaga in it as well. All oh, right, okay. No, I know nothing. Okay. Um, she's I... like, I, I am the granddaughter of Baba Yaga. Oh, so how long have you been here for then? Oh, many, many. I, I have been here guarding this place for at least 100 years. 100 years? All right. Okay, so did your family do this? Like your parents or uh, your uh, relatives look after this place before you? We guarded it for the king. Ah, but the king's long gone, isn't he? Some say he is, some say he isn't. It depends on your definition of gone. Okay, that's an interesting answer. So uh, do you do this to like, do you get, um, what do you get out of this then? Do you just, is it part of your family tradition to do this or? I get peace. I get to brew my potions. I get to study the stars. The stars? What's the star? The stars. Oh, the stars. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's actually quite cool. So what potions do you have? Do you have any cool potions? Do you sell them or do you just make them to, to give out for free? I I can make you something. What would you like? Oh, I don't know. Do you have any specialities? What's your what's your favourite potion that you make? Ah, uh, my favourite potion takes me on dreams beyond your imagination. Oh, I don't know if that's very helpful because we've come here to work out why it's so cold here. Because um, people not get cold. coming it's here. Perfect temperature. Well, it is for you, maybe, but for most people, uh, it's not that great. It's a bit chilly. Really? But the sun was out. Yeah, it doesn't really make a difference, though. I don't you notice all the frozen stuff around you. Oh, no, I don't. I, I don't, you yeah. know, go. We also you can't see, so I suspect that that doesn't really help with the noticing. <laughs> <laughs> so has anything changed here in the last, um, how long ago did the start playing Get Cold? Started about 15 years ago. So has anything changed in the last, like, 15 seasons? Seasons? Uh, the moons? Yes. Yes. Visitors tended to sort of stop coming. Um, yeah, no, n not a lot has changed other than that, but yeah, I I it's just been lonely for 15 years. So are you busy then looking after this place? Not if too no... busy. No, not okay. too busy. Um, the king has, the, yeah, the king sort of, he also stopped visiting. 15 saying, years ago, he, oh, he stopped, stopped visiting. Well. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Did you think about stopping doing what you're doing at any point, or are you just happy to stay here? No, I'm happy here. Okay, well that's fair. It's chilled. Um, have you been through the? Um, do you know what this area is like? What the layout of this place is like? Do you remember it? Have you always been blind, or is this a? No. A um, last time I was in there, the king wasn't terribly happy. Oh, really? Why? What happened? I don't know. The king oh. just—I don't know. Just being a king. Yeah. You know, royalty, sovereigns. Yeah, exactly, yep. Exactly. Um, okay. So we're thinking of going in through the little tunnel and to go and visit the king. Do you think he'd be happy to see us? I think he might be happy to see us, yes. In fact, I think I've got a potion. Um, yeah, he, he did mention he wanted a cup of tea not too long ago. So <laughs> okay. tell you what, if 
I, I will give you one of my dream potions if you could just give a potion to the king. Okay, sure. No worries. Do you know cool. what the king so looks like? I know this is a random question, being that you're blind, but do you know what the king looks like? Ah, uh, no, I haven't seen him for years. Okay, all right. Uh, was he obviously he's a male? Was he an older guy or bearded or? Do you know what I would no. Like? No. Okay. No. Okay. Well, if you just drop that off to the king, and I'll start brewing you a potion. Drop this off to king. Okay. Yeah. Cool. How long will this take? Ah, uh, ten, fifteen minutes. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, while she's doing that, we'll just, we won't actually go in her room, but just have a nosy around the outside of the place that she's at. Yep. Cool. She basically goes into her house and shuts the door. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <laughs> just turn around quickly to make sure there's no one kind of approaching us or... Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Just complete it's silence. Just nothing, dead quiet. Nothing's yeah. changed. Temperature's not changed. Nothing feels different. Not at all. Weirdness. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, Ding, what are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk to myself, which is weird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. This is a bit odd. But she, I don't know how helpful she's going to be. And what is this potion that you've been drinking? I don't know if it's a good idea to drink random potions from witches. It probably isn't. But she has mentioned that, you know, the king stopped visiting her 15 years ago. And this is the same king that was, well, last used this place 100 years ago. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. So I'm going to just turn around and study, being a, being a, a dwarven engineer, just study that door. Is there anything that looks like there used to be magical entrance to it or something that's been destroyed? or? Um, Not at this stage. Like, the entrance here, you can see, it looked like it may have had a door, but, like, you can see hinges on each of the pedestals, but there is nothing else. Okay. Is she is she making noises and doing stuff, or do you feel like she's just disappeared? She's just disappeared. I'm just going to knock on the door. Say, hey, are you okay? Can we help? Yep. Oh, I'm seeing picture in picture. <laughs> I don't only briefly. Um, I was just checking something. <laughs> nope, that's all cool. Um, nope, you hear nothing from within. I'll just uh, try the door. It is completely locked. Uh, I'll try, try the door. <laughs> Lean on it a little okay. bit. Uh, I have got lockpicks, so I've got lockpicks, but yeah, okay, I might just lean on it. Strength might. Yep. Strength. Or you can try, well, you can't actually see a lock. Okay, I might get uh, Ding. Hey, Ding, can you just uh, lean on this door for a bit, just see if you can push it open? So that would be strength might. Just because I... Uh... Okay, he puts all his force against it, and nothing happens. He then pulls out his mace, and sort of bangs on it a bit and um these sort of hits would take down a tree or would at least dent the wood there is nothing denting on this at all the wood is completely the same okay cool um this must be a nice magical door okay we're not going anywhere with this we should probably wander into the uh into the uh the cave i think cool they now know we're coming anyway <laughs> Right, so move into the cave. Yeah, I'll just... Uh... Oh. Uh, sneaky rogue boy will have a look first. We'll go first, just to okay. just see if there's any traps or anything obvious on the floor as he walks up. Cool. There is nothing that you can see in this entrance way. You can see the actual solid doors down there, but you can see one of them has been knocked off its hinges. Um, looks like a blow-in, a great force. And it is just lying in front of you. So there's no so, kind of broken weapons or bits of helmet and stuff like you that? You can right see... Here. Well, you can go in a bit further. <laughs> I'm not scared at all, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you stand at that entrance, you can see like two mouths of slabs from the roof of this cave have sort of come in, and you can see light coming from up here. Um, okay. To the north of you, where the holes are, the, everything inside here is cold and covered in snow. Ah, from the roof. From Does the it roof, feel like yes. it's got colder as I come in here? 
It definitely has, in fact, gotten colder. Okay. No, so okay. as you enter, you can see on your right up here, there is a very, very flash-looking door. Um, actually, that door there is meant to be open. Um, heading into what you can kind of make out is a chapel. You can see doors to smaller rooms up there and whoop, up here on your left and you can see the door it has a very ornate fronting on it that looks kind of a bit creepy um going here as you go in you can see well as you move to that part you can actually start seeing into the door and it looks like there is a pool in there so being dwarven and all that do i recognize this king like his kind of um is this an historical place or something like that? Um, you can recognize the dwarven craftsmanship out of here, and you can you do recognize the sort of kit set buildings. Dwarfs would make these for rulers um, as a place to live. So you knew that um, there was a temple to whatever god they served. They had bathhouse facilities. They had um, a storeroom with a bit of kitchen stuff. They had libraries. They had armories. Um, throne rooms and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, okay, so it's not made for a specific Dwarven King or anything like that? It is not, no. This is made Dwarven made, but for humans. Yep, okay. Um, the, the Shimmering Pool is full of frozen water, I'm guessing? It is in fact, well, actually no, it is in fact um, still very liquid. Oh, I don't know, Arcane Law on this then? Okay. So actually, okay. Arcane Law or Perception. Oh, well, I've got, uh, I've got that and I've got that. I'll do perception for one arcane law for the other one. Okay. Um, nice. The <clears> arcane <throat> law, you do know that uh, certain liquids, even though they are water, so to speak, certain liquids will, in fact, not freeze at the temperatures you are seeing. I mean, you can see up here there is a rag that is completely frozen. You can see everything. All other water around here is frozen. However, you do know that a lot of water doesn't freeze at this level. I'm just wondering why is I've got animations running, but I can't see the animations. No, it's not moving. One second. No. I, just need, I just need to feed the Barney because he's looking at me. It's six o'clock. He's like, "Where's the uh, poor boy?" I know. <laughs> Oops, I have the stream on full, so I will take it down. Shouldn't take too long to feed Z Dog. He is a very cute doggo. It's like the light animations just are no longer Hello. animating for me. No, you animate things rubbish. Yeah. That is that is weird, because that pool is meant to actually have some animations over it. It's not a thing um, on the screen that you turn on and off, is it? I've just turned it off and on again just to see. Um, but what you do notice, so who is walking into this Well, pool? we're a bit suspicious, to be honest. And it looks like that room doesn't need to go. I don't know if we're going to go in there, but Ding was taking the most notice out of it. Okay, nothing was so. happening. Um, you do, however, up in these parts here, you see some very fine um, jewellery. Basically, these are little cubby holes that whoever stayed in here, they'd take off their jewels, um, any metal items, and put them in a nice cubby hole. Well, the rogue boy would like that a lot. Okay. Um, can you see any traps or anything? No, but as soon as you hit that point, you do notice that the water actually, <clears throat> as it was liquid, it starts moving as if it's drawn towards you. Oh, perfect. Okay, cool. Um, 
I'm just curious, that flask of green tea, I guess I'm going to call it, can I just take that out yeah. and just take the, the top off it? Oh, I never got it, did we, in the end? She never made it, she bugged it off. Uh, she she gave you some green tea that you drunk, and she's given you something to give to the king. Oh, well, she has. Can I just take that out and just hold it up? Not drink it, just yep. hold it out, and just see if anything weird has changed, if it's changed. Uh, it funnily does. It's partially drawn to the tea as you hold it up, but you can also sense that it is drawn to you. And if you give it to um, Ding and move Ding up, then it's basically pulling in two different directions. One to you and one to Ding. Okay, does Ding any any idea what this is? As a as a magic kind of thing from, from his first roll? Or uh, was what different... was his first roll? Arcane Law of 14. That is actually pretty good. Um, he doesn't know what it is. It's not magnetic. Uh, he seems to feel that whatever is in this um, alchemical vial of whatever is drawing it magically or you know it's an yeah, arcane yeah, yeah. okay it's got like an attachment yeah. to it um so just curious if we put down the uh, the vial in between us yep does it stop going following us um well, if you put it down and start walking away, who's walking first? No, so what I was thinking was put it down in this spot here. I don't think you can see my mouse. Put it here. Can I do anything? Yep, you can. Uh, does the water then stop following you with us? Like if we do that and take a step wide and put it in the middle. Okay, so it is pulling towards you where the circle is as well. Uh, to where the circle is as well as random. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was attracted to that vial uh, rather than just me. That's all. That's what I was wondering. It's attracted to both of you by okay. the feel of it. All right, sweet. Um, I don't really want to find out what's that's going on there, so I might just leave it. I'll just pick up the vial and walk out for now. Okay. <laughs> I don't feel like it's going to go well if we actually do anything in there. And there's no way sneaking around it, so we'll just get sucked in there or something, which could be bad, I think. Yeah, enough. Uh, yeah, so pick up said vial. Ooh. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I can't walk through the wall. No, you can't walk through walls. Sweet, so vial. I will delete said vial marker. Um. Yep. Yeah, there's not much I can do. I don't really want to go in there because I feel like we're just not going to get out again. No matter how many how many shiny trinkets I see in the distance. There are a lot of them. So I might just go across to the other side then. Okay, as you are walking out, the wave actually starts following you. The water is doing that. You exit to the threshold and you can see this mass of things starting to charge to you. It's like the water has become alive and is By attacking us quite perfect. agitated. Yes. Okay, perfect. But, I mean, there's other ways. You don't have to attack it. Oh, we don't have to attack it. Okay. So, do you not? does it not feel like it's going to leave the room if we leave the room? If we get on the oh, other it is, side? It's about to leave the room. Um, can we shut the door? <laughs> you can. <laughs> As you shut the door... <laughs> You can no longer see it, but you can hear it bang against the door. However, the door was open inwards, um, and with you, uh, with it banging against it, there's no way it is going to budge Escape. out there. That's perfect. Yeah. That's hilarious. Okay, cool. Okay, so might not open that door then. Might just leave that alone, that room. Okay. That sounds a bit angry. <laughs> uh, so we can go for a wander onto the other side. Oh, yep. Not there. There, maybe? No, it's okay. I do that. Cannot you possibly no there's uh, the, the pillars are pretty tall so you'd have to climb over them i was trying to go around them okay cool yeah so we'll just do the same sort of thing just going to stand at the door of this one yep i get through there okay so this is it's like a chapel yep so there are no doors and <coughs> oh, um, stuff once end. again you can see at the end yeah there's a mist which does look like it's partially animating um and you can see a font a fountain of water um, in the well, next to the altar that is also liquid you can also see two what are those things gargoyles at either end of the altar as well as some weird metallic contraption in the middle of the chapel looks like it has been frozen shut for a long long time okay so those gargoyles are frozen they are frozen yes I'm going to take a wander into this room as well, because, you know, let's, let's play. Uh, cool. 
So anything interesting going on here? So the gog is that gas looking like it's moving towards us like the last slot did? Um, this time, no, it doesn't. However, it does solidify, and you can see this puff of air, and it sort of hovers up close to you, but it, it doesn't look like it's... It's more curious. Think of basically a cat-like curiosity. Does it feel like we can talk to it? Like, hey, hello? hello. You can try to talk to it. Can I talk to it in Dwarven? Being that we're in a Dwarven uh, Yes, you can try and talk to it in Dwarven, actually. Hi. <laughs> we, we come in <laughs> peace. <laughs> it sort of looks curiously at you and swirls, you know, goes right up next to you, swirls around you a bit and then pops back. And um, it doesn't look threatening at all. It, it, it's like it understands that you are trying to say you come in peace. Um, I'm going to hold up my but, green tea again as well. So let's see what it does. And as soon as you do that, it starts pulling away. Ah, interesting. I'll put it away real quickly and say sorry. I was just curious. It then starts moving closer to you again. Um, it sniffs around the pocket where you put the tea or the pouch, whatever. And then it sniffs around your gut where, you know, <laughs> well, we the stuff that you've ingested has come. It then sort of moves away from you and starts, um, basically goes on the other side of you to, Fair yeah, enough. so you and Ding are behind, uh, yeah, other side of Ding. Not making any noises, there's no way it's coming. No, it's completely silent. Okay. Just trying to think if we can go in there or kind of any way we can kind of um, uh, ask if it's okay to come in and have a look around or, you know, does it seem, if we make a move towards the the pedestal in the middle, whatever that is, that gas gasless thing there, does it make any kind of worried movements if we make a move forward? It doesn't. It seems to follow you as you move, it moves. I might just leave... I might just get uh, Ding to do the moving because obviously he's less threatening than. Yep. And uh, Randall the fourth. Randall fourth might just take it. I might Randall fourth might just take a step back because if I feel like he's going to cause issues if he's in Fair there. Fair enough. Yeah, so I'm just going to wander up and have a look at this gaseous stuff then. 12, okay. Ten yards and twelve yards. So what do I see there? So what's behind? Is that just a pet? Is that some sort of table? Is it? Uh, it is a pulpit, sort of altar on it. It has some paper that has long since frozen, and as you sort of pick up the parapet, it just crumbles on it, uh, crumbles into nothing. Um, you've also got, well, yeah, nothing's written on it. Whatever was on there has long dissolved. ago worn off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And those gargoyles, what are they doing? They look like they're praying or something, or is that just the art? The... Um, they just appear to be standing there. It's kind of a bit weird having, you know, some sort of demonic gargoyle thing in such a pristine altar, but um, it's like the gargoyles you see on Gothic architecture. Yeah, okay. Um, just think, so has this been yep. tweaked at all? Would this be a normal dwarven t chapel? If Well, the pillars themselves are definitely dwarven. Um, however, this is laid out as a human chapel. It would be a religious, an intelligence religious law to see which deity. I see. Okay, yeah. I was just wondering if it had been kind of t changed quite a lot. And so that gaseous stuff in the middle there, can I do a sort of arcane law on that to see if I just kind of vaguely know what it is? And why yep. it's not threatening? Uh, 16, that's very good. Um, basically, this is an elemental it is, yeah, well, it says weak air weak elemental. Ele it says weak as in this week, though, not weak as in... No, ah, oh, W-E-A-K, you are <laughs> correct. My bad. I did chuckle when I saw that, but... Yeah, my spelling is atrocious, you know that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so this particular elemental, it seems to have um, been summoned, and here it's not actually a part of the design of this chapel whatsoever it seems to be more tied to the weather however it feels like it is dying like the air itself is getting so cold um that it is starting to its life force is just draining away and it seems like whatever is in this pool here is the only thing keeping it alive oh okay so what okay 
it that makes no movement. If I go near, it makes no new move, the movement though. That that liquid, wherever it is, it does not. Um, as you actually put your hand in it, while it looks like liquid, it is highly condensed air. So you pick it up and imagine dry ice, and yeah, you can dissolves. see the air. Yeah, okay. It does that. So it's technically not a liquid. It is just very condensed, liquidy air. Do I get feelings when I feel this thing? <laughs> you know, you kind of like they get that kind of. Um, because they can't talk, can they? So does it communicate it in another no. way? Does it communicate like by mind, telekinesis sort of style? Uh, it more communicates, uh, it emotes its feelings. So it's emoting sort of curiosity, but it's sort of getting a bit bored as you look around and it starts just swirling back, back around. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, thank, I'll bow to the elemental. I'm not sure how you actually say but goodbye to an elemental, but I'll bow to it and, and stop wandering out of the room. So I don't know if it okay. I don't know if I can help this elemental at all, so there's not much I can do. It basically looks down at the ground that you know you bowed your head and it starts um, hovering over where you were looking, looking very curious as if it's searching for something. Oh, okay. Perception then. I will oh, do a search around on the floor. What? Well, it's basically looking where you looked. Oh, so it's I see. It's confused. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's confused. That's fine. It has, yeah. I should wave my hand off and just hold my hand up to the element and wave and kind of go, okay, we're going to go And now. it sort of imitates that with one pu puff of the air. Okay. Uh, I will ask, can I help you? Um, can we help you? Can we help you get out? Can we do anything? It looks, um, sort of pulls back a bit. It doesn't really get the concept of helping but yeah, okay. like of the question but it does feel like it is a need hmm don't know what we can do with this unless i can get a container to put it in or something and carry it out i guess that would be the only way to go that could work actually but I'm not. I don't have any empty containers, do I? <laughs> There's nothing around. Um, There's nothing I can kind of. It's just. I mean, there are jars lying around the ground. There's this big contraption. If you could work out what that is. Oh, okay. So let's let's have a nosy at that. I'll grab. I'll let um. Uh, because perception is high. Rando's got better perception, so maybe get him to have a nosy at this. While the other guy's talking to the elemental. Cool. Uh, um, Randall, I don't Randall, want you no. to roll perception. I want you to roll engineering on it. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, keep doing that all then. Uh, oh, Twelve. Of, not bad. Couple of stuff. Um, it is not too. I mean, that's not a hugely high score, but it mm. is enough for you to know. Um, this is also not dwarven architecture whatsoever. It doesn't belong in the temple, but you can tell. Um, it's some sort of device that spins around and can actually, when operational with um, whatever power source it requires, it is in fact able to open portals to different planes. Ooh, that's exciting. So would this be a magical device then? It could very well be. Hey, Ding, come and have a look at this. <laughs> 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 oh, I've lost my thingy. Okay, I'll slowly make my way over this way. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, Arcane test. <clears throat> Come on, be good. Oh. Uh, uh, you can't notes. quite work that one out. Um, however, you start fiddling with it, and what happens is um, the door on the other side, where the water elemental came oh, from, no. you can hear that start to rumble. And it tears itself open, and you can hear a horrible gushing sound as this elemental starts flooding towards you. Can we shut this door here? So, there is no door. Ah, perfect. Yes. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do, um, this is a new line of tests that you have never actually done oh, before. This is man. called an advanced test. Are you experimenting on me? I am. So this is one of the cool things I like about the age system. You, With an advanced test, what you have to do is roll a test for it. So this will be arcane law to unlock it. Um, it will take... 
Yep, uh, what you will do, you will have to basically pass a 14. If you pass a 14, you write down the amount of stunt points that you get. Once you have accumulated 16 stunt points, you will have unlocked the mysteries of what this is. However, each round... <laughs> it gets closer. It, it will be getting closer to the point that it's going to start getting into combat with you. Oh, nice. Okay. So can we yes. work together with this, or is this just purely a ding thing? Um, ding will have to do it. The other guy can do it, but for him to roll an arcane test of 14 is tough. Yeah, okay. Yep. So this thing has a speed of 13, so I will let you do your first test. Right. Um, the thing is, if you fail... Like with Ding, if Ding fails, nothing's going to happen. However, if Rando fails, you will lose that many stunt points because he's going down the wrong path. Yeah, Rando, I don't think Rando should help, to be honest. I, okay. mean, I don't think it worked together, you see, like rather than individually trying to work it out. Would that help? Cool. But if that's um, not going to help, then I can't, I'm not going to do that. That's not going to work. Fair enough. So first round, uh, make an intelligence test and see if you can get over 14. Arcane law. Arcane law, no. yes. Team. No. Okay. So this guy, because there's so much clutter around, he's moving at half his speed. He moves <laughs> Thank <you>. to the air. <laughs> yep. Going to get one one at least. 15. Okay. 15 with six stunt points. So write down six, and he is moving once again half his speed to get there. So you are one third of the way there. Well, that's exciting. Yes. Is Rando going to do anything to stop the water elemental? I don't know what Rando can do. Can the uh, can He's the air weapons. can the air elemental do anything? Can I? Uh, at, well, as it enters there, the air elemental gets highly agitated and basically vanishes back into the liquid. Brilliant. One second. Air. I'll let <laughs> So how many viewers do we still have? Are you still there, Travis? Hello. Hello. Sorry, he, he lets himself out, but then will refuse to let himself back in again. Silly dog. That's almost cat-like material. I uh, know. Um, so he has a grenade, doesn't he? Fourth. Um, I believe Ding has the grenade, but he can throw it to Rando. Oh, because he's got the lightning thing, isn't he? Yeah, can we do that, please? Yeah. Yep, okay. So I will... Basically, he throws it. Um, I'm not going to make you test for it because that's a pretty easy throw. And we, now we Rando items. has... Yes. Okay, so I'll do the grenade throw. Um... Okay, so that is a test of 18. Uh, sorry, of 11. So just roll the attack and your target is 11. So I'm just looking for it here. I don't see it. Uh, oh, lightning, white? lightning, lightning ball? But yeah, that's under Rando. That's the I see, okay. It's on Rando. I moved it to Rando. I saw, I was looking for it. I was like, where's it gone? Oh. Right on 11 with five stunt points. Okay, five okay, cool. is enough for you to do lethal attack. Let's do that then. Let's just do some damage to this thing. And it's lightning as well. Would that be more against water? Um, and yes, I'm going to let it, yes. Yes, it will definitely do a lot more damage. So if I go right, left, what shall I put onto it then? So lethal is... Uh, lethal will be stunt damage of 2d6. Are you going to add stuff onto it because it's lightning as well? I will add something to it a bit later. Oh. 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 <laughs> that is not bad at all. Um, okay. Armor 12, oh, so... A 4, 6, 5, 4, oh, five. That's, that's a really high, eight, isn't it? That is incredibly high. I'm doubling the damage on it. Basically, um, as it explodes, you can see the lightning rave up the wave and um, everything it touches. It is now going to spend the next two uh, two turns sitting there electrified. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Okay, come on then. Ding, let's do this. We've got this, yep. bro. All right, next round. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. So that is 12. That's not quite enough to mm. unlock it. One round. Um, 
He's got another lightning vow. Uh, vow? Or was he fr vile? Or was he? You from? only had one. Okay. All right. We had not much else. I don't think uh, long distance stuff. I could shoot at it, but I don't know if it would much difference. Uh, you can try shooting. Okay, let's do a shot then. More of a nine there. Lots of stun points. A nine. Which is nice. uh, it it's is a big bit of water, though, isn't it? It must be not hard to yeah. miss a big bit of water. Well, <laughs> basically, you shot it. You did hit it, but it just put the bullet Absorbs, passes straight through. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah do one of that. And there's, yeah, there's not much I can do. Okay, next round then. I don't think there's much I can do with this, really. Okay, so What's this will be the second round. Damage, fire, portion. Oh, pistol. I actually rolled the wrong thing. Should have rolled pistol. But it makes no difference. Oh, you rolled gone. dings heavy. Yeah, yeah no, sorry, it would have definitely gonna... made a difference. Oh, So okay. remember, target, click on rando and target the water elemental. Oh, I see. That was T. T for target. Yes. And now roll... Okay, that is a miss. Still missed. So you do hit it. It is taking up the whole wall. It's very easy to hit, but it just passes straight through. Okay, cool. Right. So now I'll go back to Arcane Law roll for the next round. Matey boy yep. still floating about doing nothing. Correct. Going zzzz. Okay, 14. that is 14, and that is 5. Okay, so uh, 11. More, so you are at 11. Okay, cool. So you only need... Ooh, 5 more to do it. Um... The lightning is now, this is the third round, the lightning is now sort of ceased, About and this thing is going to charge in. Perfect. Okay. And he is going to try and do a massive water whip onto Broken Rando. Oh. And I miss. <sighs> okay, cool. Uh, okay. We actually didn't do a, a, you know, who goes first, but I will do the shot again. It's just, bad. Um, it's just bad. You're close enough. You could possibly. Oh, I could have done do aim actually. Your... Should have done aim on it, but eleven. Yep. Okay, and then it is Ding's oh, turn to I should do. Should have done the dagger. Is what you were about to say, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My mistake. Um, arcane law. Nah, rubbish. Eleven. It is not enough. So we'll go back to the top. Water elemental is going to try and hit. Rando, Ooh, succeeding, Jesus. 20. <laughs> yes, but I didn't do, I didn't get any crits, so. No, he didn't, I, luckily, no. I, didn't get any it stat, is a stat. whole four points of damage. Okay. Uh, right, I should now use the dagger like I should have done last time. Okay, and don't forget to aim. All right, aim, forgot to aim, plus one, 13. Um, aim would have made it a 13, so that is a hit with one stunt point. Oh, okay. So what's one stun point do? Anything interesting? I don't have the stunts up. Uh, I, can't, I can't see. Them. Oh, you don't have the stunts up. Sorry, yeah. let me get That's the right. stunts up for you. Do, 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 do. Showing player. There you go. Combat stunt package, just one point. Uh... Rapid reload could actually help because your sh pistol technically requires a reload. Oh, yeah. Rapid reload. Uh, stay away. Um, or I'm skirmish. Thinking. You can whack it back. If it moves, uh, you can yep. move yourself You can also do stay aware. <coughs> Bless <Excuse> you. <coughs> God. Bless you again. Jesus. <clears throat> uh, my favorite is make uh, perception. My friend, look at some. Is that helpful? I'm about. Well, reload. Can I do two shots if I do a reload or not? Uh, technically, you have to do one shot, then reload it. Oh, but rapid doesn't give me an extra. It doesn't give you an extra, no. I'm not sure. How would we stay away work? Let me make sure you roll a perception test with your highest perception ability, and if you get over 18, I tell you something extra that you haven't noticed before. Over 11, not 18, 11. Sorry, 11, yeah. Because 18 is quite high. That is very high. Um... Yeah, let's do that. I don't see how skirmish. Move yourself a target. It's not going to happen. Well, I need him to stay there, so he can't move. Okay, roll perception. He actually has decent perception. Yeah. 15. Easy. What you actually notice is um, it almost looks like the water from the air elemental is... Um, 
basically flowing into the this weird device uh, the more you activate it the more air is coming into it as well as you can see tendrils of air coming out of it oh so they're joining up somehow they are interesting okay um all right so i do my i've done my hit so i'll do some damage now with a dagger okay nice nice apply damage 25 hit up oh, sorry no. sorry sorry Ow. i'll just stab myself in the <laughs> i yeah let's put you back to 32 hit points Ow. sorry i have to target yeah, no, that fine. person and apply damage there we go all right i think that's end of round isn't it so that is the oh, end of round wait arcane oh. law now arcane, uh, law. arcane law test yes yeah, you only right. need five more that's better Six, that six, 17. Okay, this is perfect. Um, finally, as you <laughs> finally, yeah, as you actually activate it, um, all this air blushes out of it, and your friend, the nice little Air elemental, elemental. Yep. yep, is no longer a small, tiny one. It is. Whoop, why is my mouse not working? There it is. Um, this air elemental is absolutely huge now. There's a huge gust of wind blowing into it, and it is giant. And it flies past you, smashes into the water elemental, and um, basically freezes both of them in place. You can see this water elemental is completely frozen solid, and um, suddenly you feel a gust of wind back into this contraption, and it's sort of... It's like the top of it goes over, but you can feel the warmth coming from it. You can also start feeling this place warming up a little. Oh, interesting. So you now no longer have a giant water elemental trying to kill you. You have a statue of a water elemental. I'm going to say, but is it blocking the whole door as well? <laughs> it is blocking the whole door. Perfect. However, I will let Grando, uh, sorry, Ding, um, go and have a hit with his bludgeoning device. Oh, okay, a bludgeoning device. Yes, so go he's got a big wacky stick. Big wacky stick, okay. <laughs> his maul, okay, cool. Hit, easy, and then we apply damage. Doesn't really matter because that is enough it's to outright kill it. So it shatters into lots of little pieces and um, it melts and just dissolves away into the air. Wow. Okay. Well, that was exciting. Yeah. So does the air elemental disappear completely now? The air elemental has gone back into this contraption. That was crazy. Okay. So you said it was a teleport device of some sort. No, it was a gateway to um, uh, different realms. Oh, so you know, to an you've got mental realm, realm. Yes. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, can I go in? Is the area mental still there? Then the other one that was there, the little one. It is not. No, no it's gone completely. The little one okay. is what actually helped you. Cool. As soon okay. as you opened it, the little one got a lot of power back and basically used it to wipe out the water elemental. And then went home. Yes. All right. Cool. Well, that was. Wow. So we're going to go across the other room now, because okay. I'm guessing that little area was full of water is now not full of water. Uh, no, it is empty now. Oh, okay. Uh, is there anything in it? Yes, oh. I would like you to do a searching test. <laughs> I'm having real trouble uh, moving over there. Well, okay. Actually, I want you to do an evaluation test. An evalu what is that, I pray tell. Uh, I believe Rando has evaluation. No, you didn't. No, okay, those, it no. usually should be intelligence. Oh, I've got engineering. Uh, and I can. Nope. No. It'll be an intelligence test or perception test, whichever you would prefer to do. Oh, perception for one. And intelligence for the one. Okay. So with Rando, you are able to... You yeah, know, they're pretty good. With Rando, you are able to find quite a large amount of gems and <clears throat> um, rings and, you know, signet badges, Very that sort exciting. of stuff. Is there anything, any interesting signets on it? Like any sort of recognisable... Um, oh, this is used well, to be King 
Johns or something? Yeah, Rando with his test of 11, he can tell you that a bunch of them are just plain gold rings, which are not worth too much at all, um, gold silver rings. Mm -hmm. There is a signet ring that is actually worth quite a bit. It does come from a, um ancient dynasty that sort of fell away about 100 years ago, approximately the same time this mm -hmm. king went missing. How interesting. So you can surmise that he comes from this ancient family. What's in um, the just what's in the empty um yeah, that area. The, it's the, completely the water, empty. It is empty. There's nothing uh, interesting in there. Okay. Let me see can I do that? No, it's it is empty and that is part of the JPEG. I can't actually Yeah, show so I wonder if there's a says or anything underneath it that's what it's getting at. No, nope, nothing in there. Okay. Um, so I would say all up, um, that signet ring does look the nicest uh, out of, yeah, that's what you get from your evaluation roll. But you can surmise you get about 100 gold worth of jewellery out of this Ooh, area. Okay. Ooh, it might fill a pocket soon. You, it will. Right, uh, where else would you like to explore? Oh, well, we might as well keep going as we've just survived an amazing battle and only taken like two or three points of damage. Which is incredible somehow. I'm gonna wander down down the other way, I guess. See what's okay. over this. Don't over. forget you've got doors up here and doors down oh, here. Yeah, okay, no, I didn't realize that. Okay, so as, as as Ding's near a door, he might just open it. Is there any any noises okay. coming from that door? Might just put me over. Nothing at it. all. Yeah, so open the door. Can I do it? I can open the door. Yep. Stand at the door. What do I see? Okay. Box. This looks like it is a library. There is a broken chair um, that is sort of scattered around. Uh, looks like it had been well used. You can see a couple of bookcases uh, with the books strewn everywhere. Most of the books are frozen solid. Uh, any of them not looking non-solid? Like any magical books in there or anything like that? Um, roll perception. Oh, his perception is rubbish, though. Maybe <laughs> um, well, lots of threes, which is nice. Maybe um, we should get, get the thief to do it. Okay. That's better. Five and sixes. That's much better. Okay, uh, you don't see any magical tombs. You do notice a large amount of these books have big giant pictures in them, as if they are for young adults. Um, oh, okay. Not something you would expect for a king. However, with the dynasties, the way the dynasties were going, uh, you can surmise he probably wasn't the smartest of kings. <laughs> right. Inbreeding does um, You that. do... <laughs> you do, however, find a couple of interesting books on the lineage of the king who was around here, as well as a few books, um, of, like a few journals and that sort of stuff of older kings. Okay, all around the same era, 400 plus years yes. ago. Yeah, okay. uh, these are quite, some of them are in fact up to 300 years old, Just... and some of them mention... Baba Yaga and her um, offspring have been harassing the king and this family for a while. Um, this family was horribly anti anything magical simply because um, of their connection with Baba Yaga. Uh, when you find another one, you can find 500 years ago, it turned out that one of the king's daughters was actually offered to Baba Yaga in exchange for power. That's how this dynasty rose up. However, the king never fulfilled that, didn't give the daughter oh, over. It was a curse. Uh, it appears to be something like Baba Yaga never outwardly cursed the family. However, she's been a thorn in their side and her descendants, or maybe even her herself, it's very vague as to which one. Sometimes it talks directly about her. Sometimes it says her descendants. Sometimes it mentions them both in the same sentence. Um, but basically, this person is just ruining this family, making misfortune, just doing weird stuff. And just being a witch. Yeah. Basically, being a pain in their side. Can I hold out my nice green vial of green stuff, please? Yes. And just see if anything weird like happens in the room? No, nothing weird happens whatsoever. There's nothing arcane or magical in this room. It okay. is literally just books. Uh, has it been open a while, this room? Like, is it kind of warmer because it's not just been open for the first time in a long time? Or 
Uh, funnily enough, you can feel that it is warmer in there. Um, it is still cold enough to have frozen the books, and ice has formed all around everywhere. But it did feel about two degrees warmer than the main entrance you are in that is open to the outside. Okay. All right. Okay. So we'll take a wander. Oh, yep. Keep, keep crashing into things. Okay. Let's we'll move this guy first. Take a wander over to the other room. Oh, I've lost cool. my guy. Oh, I've lost my guy. Um, here we go. I'll drag him over for you. Thank you. Uh, ooh. It's an armory. It is an armory. So you can see over here is an incredibly ornate looking chest. And That's you can see there. weapons and shields and armor strewn everywhere. Any, uh, any traps or anything in here? Make a perception. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you say that, so I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't see anything. <laughs> it was yeah. a reasonable role, so it's okay. All right, I'll just yep. nod to Bing and say, yeah, that's fine, bro, go in. It's okay. Because <laughs> he looks excited, and I was like, no, just wait a second. <clears throat> I can't, I've lost action. I can't hold on. I can't select him. Okay, so click on, on the right, uh, left-hand side, there's token controls, a little meeple. Click on that and click select token. And it should... Uh, drag and drop anywhere else on the screen and it should pop back to you being able to choose both I don't understand so there's a Doesn't matter. I'll move him over <clears throat> it's weird so if I click on one I lose the action to access to the other one or is it just yeah, because it's over? only showing his view so you have to deselect uh, the other one to uh, yeah okay. uh, yeah so let's go and we might as well go and look at this cool little chest at the back I'll get the rogue to do it because he can do a quick check of uh, is it locked or anything like that? Or any sort of um, <clears throat> anything suspicious looking around it? Uh, no, nothing that you can tell. <sighs> such a such a GM thing to say. Nothing that you can tell. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I shall open the chest. Close my eyes. It is eyes. definitely locked. Yeah, no, oh, okay. it is definitely <clears throat> locked. It is locked. Yes. Okay, so I'll get my lock lock pick out. Okay, make a dexterity lock picking roll. Just straight dexterity. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, wow. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, you do that because of where you're standing. Um, you do notice these two particular um, things up here. They're actually shields. Um, as you unlock them, uh, unlock the door, it clicks open. However, both shields fall to the ground and smash and break apart. Uh, if you had been standing under them, you would have. Oh, I rolled. see. What you're saying. It was a trap. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Cool. It was a trap. You didn't roll high enough for that, but you did <laughs> roll high enough to, for your lock picking to disable it without. I see. Okay. Being under the uh, trap. Yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. Okay. okay. What's in the case? Um, inside the case is actually, yep, incredibly. It's basically the royal weaponry. So in there, you find yourself a. Um, really, really powerful sword, a very high-end shield, and a nice suit of armor. Ooh, okay. okay will this so, fit, will this fit Ding? This armor? The armor and the shield definitely <clears> will. <throat> um, what I am going to do then, I will open up Ding. I'll push C, not V. So he no longer has his medium shield. Um, he now has a heavy shield. Ah. Yep, it is a nice heavy shield that should give him. Um, yes, you can see his defense has gone up to 15 instead of 14 with the heavy shield. Nice. Same with the light mail. He no longer has light mail, but he has um, very heavy mail added on. So his armor is now sitting at a plus nine. Awesome. Yes. That's awesome. I uh, will take the sword anyway and just put it on his you back. Take the sword. Can't it use is. It. But. Well, no, it is actually small enough. It can be used as a light sword. Oh, so could the rogue use it? Could Rando the rogue it? can, in fact, <clears throat> use it. Um, it was sword and shield, so not a long sword or not a two-handed sword at all. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So with that, um, what is it? Short. Short sword. So it can Zoink. replace his dagger with it, I guess? Uh, I or suppose it's... you can get him to replace his dagger. It will basically, as you pick it up, it is incredibly sharp. So it is going to be doing uh, damage this item, an extra three points of damage. And it is very, very nimble, which means when you use the aim action to, you know, plan your attack, you mm -hmm. get an extra plus one onto it. 
Okay. Yeah, if it looks like it replaces Dagger, I think it'll be good. So we'll check his back Dagger into his backpack and uh, switch them around. Cool. <clears throat> That's way more powerful, isn't it? Plus five. Yes. Much, much, much more um, powerful. You also notice as you sort of move it, it actually um, slices through armor a lot more. Um, so I'm going to be t changing it. Oh, it can pierce armor piercing extremely is. well. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect for him as well. Uh, well, this has been a good find. I'm going to pull out my green vial again because I feel like this is a thing to do now. Funnily enough, as you pull out the green vial, um, this shield, the, the sword that you have starts sort of vibrating and um, you pull it out of its sheath and it looks dull and horrible. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, all right. So we should put away. So that's how she defeated them then, by making them all weak using this green potion that she's been walking around. Quite possibly. So I can't imagine this king will do very good if he had this vial. <laughs> so I drank this stuff. <laughs> you drank I'm it, now... but you passed your constitution test. Yeah, so, I'm just uh, thinking to myself, that was uh, that was probably a bit silly, drinking that. You can also surmise from that that you have nothing to do with this lineage. Hmm. True. They are human, though, I'd hope. Yes. Okay, I'll put my green vial away, make sure it's not near my sword. Yep. And, and my sword goes that... back to normal. It goes back to normal. It looks very shiny, very sharp. So could um, could Ding work out anything from this? What sort of green, weird green um, concoction you this can't, is? He can't quite work out what it is made from, but he is definitely positive this is a cursed potion. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's interesting. All right, I think we've done some successful pillaging. Cool. I'll go back into the main room. And we shall continue on, I think. Oh, we've got more okay. rooms, actually. No, we've got more rooms to go for, have we? Well, these, these rooms nope. as well? No, they're not. They are not rooms. They don't There's have no doors on the no pillars. On yeah. So we'll go down yeah. towards the uh, ding. We'll go for It's not ding. Uh, I think I might send ding first, actually, because I feel like he's probably safer than Rogue Boy. Cool. So you can see a hallway heading up um, to this other room. Uh, you don't quite know what this other room is, but the very first thing you notice is skulls at the bottom with gallows just oh. hanging there. Yeah. Ah. Probably can probably guess what this room was used for. So this is really small, this area then, is it? It is. This is only half the dungeon, but the other half is kind of inaccessible at this stage. I see. Okay. <clears throat> Should we go to the doorway and have a nosy in? Yep. So as you go in, you can see um, some pillars holding up the roof. Uh, the roof itself is fine. However, um, you can see cages with skeletons sitting inside the cages. One of them, this one down here, the actual cage is open and it looks like the skeleton is a, way bigger than what the cage should be holding. Uh, human bigger, like bigger than human. Human, yeah. Oh, so well, rest, uh... say like seven foot. Oh, I see. Okay. Interesting. What would be seven foot? Very tall human. Goliath. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. okay. I see. Okay. <laughs> um, as you go down, you can see on your right, the there is no actual ice beyond the threshold. Um, it's a pity. I had all these animations looking so cool, but they're not there anymore um you can see into uh the down the hall into a throne room and you see the skeleton of a large guy sitting on the throne room with a huge crown on his head ah but the room's not as cold no the room is nowhere near as cold uh can i see it detect any sort of magic or anything around there uh go for it arcane law, arcane law. Yeah. Oh. yep not bad that is not too bad at all. Um, there is definitely some sort of magic emanating from this point down here. In fact, you would say um, it appears to be like you put your hand out and you can feel this warm, oh. arcane feeling coming from directly the throne direction. 
However, on your left, you can, whoops, you shouldn't be able to open, yep, uh, on your left, you can see a very large door, and there is a massive skull sitting on the door. A skull on the door? A skull, yes. Oh, actually built into the door almost, like a pattern on the door. Uh, like, a, let me, let me just try something. I'm going to add a image text called door. Create a new page. And now let's see. Um, I'm just going to try and do something. I probably should have done it a bit of a time ago. But uh, here we go. I may be able to pull it off. Mm -hmm. Select file. Save entry. Close. So if I show the players. Oh, yeah. Can okay, you see, see that. that? Yeah, I can see that. Okay. This map making software is pretty cool. It lets you take screenshots. Work in, walk in third person mode and take screenshots. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. I did a few. I just didn't load them into here. So I probably should have. But that's what's facing you down that way. Um, I wonder can I add a page called THRO Throne? I will add an image page and. Will it let me do the throne? Did I even take a picture of the throne? I did indeed. Um, select file, save entry. So can you see one that says throne now? I can. Yep, uh -huh. click on it. That's yep. what's... Yes. Doesn't do roofs. So <laughs> no, it doesn't, does it? No. <laughs> no. I just noticed that. That's funny. Although the other one's got a, the door's got a roof. Uh or like an technically arch. no, it was more the angle. Yeah, it's oh, the archways. Okay. Right. You can see two big giant archways next to the door, and they're meant to be on the inside. But you can also see the moon up on the Yeah, the I can little... see I thought I could see stars, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what's awaiting you. One is to the left, one is to the right. Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious about this warm room. I might just leave that one there because it's a bit scary. Um, yep. And just take a wander up to the door. Okay. To the fresh out of the warmth. Um, I'm going to get this green green stuff out again. The door's open, obviously, so I'm going to get this green stuff out again. It is. Yep. As um, soon as you do that, the skeleton um, basically sits up and starts walking towards you. <laughs> it looks very angry. Oh, okay. How interesting. So that's why she said to give it to this guy so he can kill me. I don't know. Well, that's what I'm surmising to myself as I sit here <laughs> watching a skeleton come towards me. The doors cannot be shut? No, there is no door. There is no door. Okay. And is he moving quite quickly? Um, not really. He is very slow and lumbering. Okay, I might just take a scarf over to the other room then. Okay. So I can go 12, can't I? 12. You can. And 12. Oh, 10? Uh, 10 with this. Brando should be able to move 12. He's well, got yeah, four it is 12. dexterity. Yeah, 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 he's got 12, yeah, that's okay. So I'll just do that move, and I'm guessing he's still not catching. Oh, as good. soon as you move past the threshold, he start, the skeleton starts to working back oh perfect okay well let's in let's leave him alone then for a while because i feel like he's a bit yep. scary and take a walk down this corridor to this door uh any traps anything on the door uh, that's rolls. obvious nothing on the door that's obvious no <laughs> 12 no no, no traps no traps <laughs> you said that way too confidently <laughs> <laughs> Open the door with no traps. Here we go. Oh, glistening. It's glistening. It is. This animation's working fine. How bizarre. I wonder why that is. <laughs> okay. I don't so. know. Okay, so the door's open. What do we see? The door opens, and right in front of you, like there are skulls and skeletons and canopic jars and all that sort of stuff scattered everywhere, but you can see the tomb with um, written on it in common. It is King Edward the Eighth, and it has dates which matches back to one hundred years ago as his death. Okay. It sounds like Barney is. He's wagging his tail and it's banging the table. Yes, dum, I thought dum, I could dum. hear that. 
Um, there is, you can see, part of the altar has been broken open, so and you can does, see this does that red happen light. To look the same size as the skeleton that was walking towards us. Ironically enough, yes. Ah, how interesting. Okay. So let's take a step into the room quietly and gently walk into the room. As you do that, you hear a voice saying, Leave me in peace. Oh, does that sound like the old lady? It does not. Oh. Where are you? But I want you to make a perception test. God. You see nothing. You no. see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God, as I roll this, I was like, this is not going to go well. I've been running reasonably well for these like, out-of-battle ones. have been going quite well. So at some point, they yeah. had to go badly. They did. Mm, right at the end. Perfect. Um, <laughs> okay, so what are we seeing here? So what's the tomb, this glistening stuff? Is it coming from the tomb itself, is it? It is. You can see lights coming out from the tomb, and it's sort of a swirly red mist. Uh, can I do an arcane test to see if I know what this is? Uh, yep. So if Mainty Boy can help me. Oh, that's pretty good. There is strong necromantic magic coming out of here. Yeah, okay. Well, that makes sense with the old skeleton boy around the corner. Um, yep. Four stunt points. Did you want to use any? Yeah, well, what can I do with this? <clears throat> okay, let me bring up the stunts again. So these will be exploration stunts. Uh, efficient searching. Eh, not really helpful. Speedy, no good. Make me wander. Immediately to make another perception test at no additional cost time. Discover more information about surroundings. Well, it could be worth doing with three points. Receive plus one bonus for a test exam and perceive additional aspects. Upper hand, no. Resources, co focus, no half fails. With a flourish, no. I don't need a flourish. Advantageous. I'll probably do an advantageous positioning and a, a make me. No, okay. is it? Make me roll a perception test the, to do it again. Yep, yep. I will yeah. let you do that. I think that could be worth doing. Go for it. Well, his perception's only zero, but I can't do an arcane law roll. Oh. No, it's uh, no. But I'll let the other guy um, sort of rando his uh, dingers having a look around. That's rando better. is also looking. Yes, you see under this pillar here an identical jar um, as yours filled with three quarters empty but you know so a quarter full with the same green sort of drink that you've got and then you see two more vases empty sitting to the side where the door is open or where the crate is open so that's what they're drinking to keep her alive him alive her alive dead I suspect actually or remember so, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know if we're going to pick it up and have a look at it or take it away from them. It's that, up to you. That voice, did it come from that area? It did. Oh, we might as well go for it. Okay, so it, I'm going to send over Rando. I'm going to send Ding, sorry. Ding? Okay. So, hey, Ding, can you just go and get that vase that's there, that three quarter full de vase? Yep. I guess it's like, um, you yeah. hear a horrifying screech. Oh, yeah. I want. Everybody in this room to make a willpower courage test. Oh, I've got none of that, so <clears throat> we could just be running now. Um, okay, what was Some the points. roll? The roll 12, was 13. a 14. No, it was a 14. Um, <laughs> <laughs> both of you are freaking out. Uh, something in here is very angry and scaring you. Uh, you cannot get any closer than that, and Ding starts walking back. Both of you are walking out of the room. Just you have this uncontrollable Just urge to walk not, backwards out do of the not room. Do like this. This is wrong. No. Um, and it's like leave me in peace. C can I shoot the um, the green vase? Is that the one that's three quarters full? Okay, that'll be a perception. Uh, that'll be an attack roll, and that's a pretty hard one, so that'll be 15. I'll do an aim. Yep. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was nice. That was brilliant. Yeah, okay. You're able to shoot, like, the bottom two are, or the 
the one down here and down here are empty. This one up here, you shoot it, it splashes everywhere and you hear a horrifying screech. However, the screech seems to be moving from, let's go to that, from within there down to the other side, the opposite end of whatever this is, uh, this room. So it's running away from that. Oh. Um, oh. With that, you hear some... <laughs> I did wonder if it's going to come back again. <laughs> yes, you actually hear some noises. The skeleton that was in the open one uh, yep. starts walking towards you, and oh, you see nice. okay. four other skeletons that are all starting to wake up. So... Um, I'm going to put them into combat mode. I would like you to roll combat initiative mode. for these. Well, yes. Uh, roll how, do NPC. Roll, how do I roll initiative on these screens? Okay, so go into the combat tracker, and oh, under see. your two guys, there's the initiative. Oh. Okay. Very, um, very so. Mixed. Wistful Skeleton, he is going to make a strength test of 12. That oh, okay. is a This is pass. where you start making god rolls the whole time. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, his test, with that he is able to break open his shield. Uh, his not door. his shield, his cage. cage, cage yeah. It is now Broke Rando's turn. Um, Broke Rando. Yep. What is my Rando the... Rando the Force. Oh, it's called Brook Rando. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, pistol. Okay. So who are you targeting? Um, who can I see? I can only see one. I can only see Tall. Uh, you can see Tall and you can see Wistful Skeleton. Can you not? No, I can't see him. But that's fine. I'll, on... just, I'll just pick No, no, no. You can. Click on Brook Rando. Oh, I see. Sorry. <clears throat> yep. Uh, it's wist... oh, okay. I might go for Wistful because uh, he's looking like he's just a bit smaller. Might be able to get rid of the plebs first. Okay. <clears throat> so I target him. Okay, I was just thinking. That's all right. Yeah, I was thinking. Because it's actually called us quite good. It means only two at a time can attack us if there's four of them. Five of them to attack us. Four of them to attack us. Uh, pistol. That is a hit. Oh. Amazing. Okay. And... Is that right? Okay. Oh, I should have aimed. Damn it. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. Different damage, does it? It doesn't make much of a difference. Um, you can see the bullet bouncing around the armor cage, or the rib cage, and then bouncing up to the head, and his jaw falls off. Oh, okay. Well, that was good. That's a good start. That is. Okay. <clears throat> the tall skeleton. Uh, what is their movement? Their speed is 10. So he is clambering off towards you. That is his first action or his major action his second action he is going to basically raise his two-handed spear in two hands and sort of put it in a defensive pose in front of him interesting okay yep now you have the next skeleton is going to do a strength test wow no 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 what that is a success ever so he pops out uh you can hear well you don't know he pops out. You can hear basically hear the cage opening. Next one is going to do the same. Fail, come on. Nine. Um, 13. Oh, That's a pass. Oh, it's got plus three strength. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it is Ding's turn. I'm just thinking I might just walk up to him and start smashing him because that is my job. Yes. <laughs> Take a few uh, steps. Broke rando. You oh, need sorry. To do Ding. Sorry, that one there, sorry. Yeah, and yep. just walk off and do smashing things, because that's kind of... Okay. Uh, plus four mu. Oh, my God. What's that? That is a success. Oh, that one was you scary. Are hurting. I know. <laughs> Actually, that's really unusual, isn't it? Yeah. Seven. Is that Seven. Damage? That is indeed. Oh, good. In fact, um, it will be enough to drop him down. What you notice is while the bullet bounced around, it didn't do as much damage, this shot completely decimates part of its ribcage. Oh, okay. 
so smashing is better. Smashing does seem to be better. And that's dropped him almost, okay. is it? There it is. These aren't very tough. No. There's just a lot of them. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, Wistful Skeleton is going to get to... I can't even do a charge attack. So he's going to basically move to there. Do you get a free attack since when they move near you? Uh, I can move. So he used both his actions to move closer, but he doesn't get anything else. Oh, because he's too far away. So Yeah. Okay. So Wiry Skeleton is now going to attack. He gets a plus one on the attack because it is two to one odds now i don't think that hit that hit yeah 18 nice. is massive your god rolls mate you do god rolls that's what you do i know you true <laughs> two points <laughs> <laughs> a whole two points of damage yeah you've got so such heavy armor like his spear just grinds off the shield absolutely nothing you can do about that it a is scratch. but a scratch yes. rando's turn Okay, so um, Rando, as he's just realised that pistols are no good, he's going to have to walk up there and start smacking them with the, the sword. Okay. And he'll go for this guy again, because that was Ooh. his mate last time. T. Look at me using the right buttons. <clears throat> and attack. <laughs> oh, nice. <clears throat> oh, and five stunt points. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to do some have some fun with this combat stunts. Five points. That's a lot. Remember, <clears throat> with your stunts, um, pierce armor, which is usually two, is now only one for you. Ah, oh, so there's no armor. Oh, it's a haft. Oh, so we might as well do that then, and that leaves me with four. Yep. Dual attack, strong effect, two targets. Ah, oh, maybe dual strike. Is that four? Yep. Okay, go for it. So, your rolling damage for uh, dual strike is that. You attack twice. Let me just have a look at... Do I attack twice? Oh, I see. Because <clears throat> there's no dual strike. Okay, so it attacks two targets. So, with that, you're going to make a massive swing against it. So, roll damage. And my new shiny sword. Oh! Oh! oh. oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, I did some so I did some damage. you are easily able to lop off the head of this particular skeleton. And then you swing through and, yeah, I wasn't expecting that amount of damage. Yeah, that's a decent um, amount. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's now, whoop, whoop, let me go back to the combat. That's two skeletons oh, down. both down. One hit. Both <laughs> down. Six, I don't think I've rolled sixes before like that. I don't think I've ever done no. that. Wow. <laughs> and they were stuck together as well when they rolled. It was kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so nostalgic one. He is going to fire off this longbow towards you. That is a hit, whether it actually damages you or not. No. I don't think eight is enough to do any damage at all, is it? No, nine. No, none at all. Okay. So <laughs> you sound disappointed <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wow. Okay. Um, this is unusual. Turn. This was the opposite last time. You just rolled god rolls against me the whole time last time. So. Well, it just shows how you know a bit more powerful items and one more level, which gives you the option to focus your character a bit, can yes. make all the difference. Yeah, huge. Yeah. Okay. So Ding's turn. Where's Ding. Ding going? Ding, Ding's on a bit of a roll now. I think he's happy that guy just dropped. He'll take a step towards this guy in the cage. Yep. He can actually, what you can, can oh, do can is oh, if he... I can move you there. Oh, he okay. can do a charge attack. So click oh. aim, and then you can do an attack on him. Perfect. Let's do that. Uh, yeah. Wrong person. All right. Aim him. And you're going to have to target Wiry Skeleton. Oh, yeah, because he's... T? Yep. T. There you go, T. T it is. And aim plus one. Hit. That's, that's nice. Nice. Four stunt points. Nice. Ah. Well, uh, with four stunt points. I might get now, rid of his armor again. Oh, okay, right. so. Oh, was yep, pierce doing. armor and lethal blow, or whatever the other blow is. Uh, 
Now, Siege Initiative, change table, no, don't need that. Set up, create an opening now, link exploit, no, don't need that. Draw strike, can't do that. Lightning attack, second attack against enemy, different. Oh, can make two attacks. You can make two Lightning attacks, attack. or there was Mighty Blow and Pierce Armor. 1d6. So that's two points, and Pierce Armor is two points. Is two attacks better, though, I would have thought? Because I get plus it five really on depends. my I get plus five on my attacks, so I'm going to get six do. anyway, aren't I? So I you could are, end up with like yeah. an extra eleven points if I hit it right. Okay, make a lightning attack on them then. So I do normal damage, just roll normal damage twice, yeah. Yep. Uh and well, no, you have to make a second attack. So I'll make a roll damage attack. and then make a second attack. Okay, so damage on the first attack is going to be seven. seven. And, and make another two, attack. Three. Oh, and half is is a second attack. Oh, that is a success. Oh, it's a success. Cool. Okay, and then you don't again. get stun points for this. And six points. And six points. One, two, three. So he has dropped down quite significantly. Right. Next. Okay, so the next one will skeleton. be Wiry Skeleton is going to try and fight back with his long sword, long spear. Oh yeah, bring it. No, you're not. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not. No, <laughs> not at all. Not of two ones, you're not going to. No. Okay, broke that's, Rando's turn. That's almost like he <laughs> threw the sword on the floor then. Um, yeah. So I need to move here again, but I, oh, I can this time. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take a step up to Nostalgic Skeleton. Yep. And target him. And then do yep. some pokey pokey with my short sword. Cool. Uh, aim. You can't aim because no, you moved. I moved. Yeah. Oh, wait, you can aim. I don't, don't think it matters. It. It's fine. I've got it anyway. <laughs> and then 1d6 plus 1d6 plus 5. Okay, so cool. d6 is 10 points. Should be a bit more than 10 points. What is... Oh, yeah, no, 1d6 plus... Yeah, no, that's right. 1d6 yeah, plus 1d6 plus 5. It wasn't a great roll. It was only a couple. Whoops, um, I just about took it off your character. Ah, and it's doing it again. Target, that's better. Okay, that okay. is your turn. And Nostalgic Skeleton. Nostalgic, he's going to try and hit this annoying dwarf. <laughs> annoying dwarf. He's actually, oh, that's a good roll. Finally, you've done a decent roll. No skill points, luckily. But... No skill points. And three points damage. No, six points of damage. Drops you from 32 to 26. Wow, that's really mean. That is. I'm happy. <laughs> Finally <laughs> hit me. <laughs> it's the first time you've hit me with all your skillers. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, just do a, a aimed attack. Yep. That is nice. That is a hit. Uh, no skill points, though, which is a bit sad. <clears throat> And nine points. That drops him down to one hit point. Oh, cool. Poor guy. Almost dead. Almost and dead. it's his turn. He's going to get at least one attack more. <laughs> is it enough to hit with your very high no. at miss? No. What is your AC? 15. Ah, 15, of course. you got the new shield. New shield, yeah. Um, I would like you to make a perception test, though. Oh. Steering if you have it, but... Oh, how about that? How about 14? that? Um, with that, you can hear a massive screech coming from oh, there. <clears throat> and this guy is going to make a willpower save. If he beats 13, he does. He actually crosses the threshold. However, you can see, like I can't animate it, but you can see where he steps, the ice completely melts. Interesting. Um, He's going to roll his initiative, so... Broke Rando, it is your turn. Can I do one action of throwing that potion at that skeleton? And one attacking yep. the other skeleton? Would that be um, just kind of throwing it in his direction? Throwing would be an attack move. Yeah, you can't okay. do both, sorry. Okay, so I'll just try and take out this geezer then. Okay. <clears throat> uh, short sword attack. Sixes are nice. And Look at stunt that. points. <laughs> <laughs> Number uh, 20. Oh, uh, Kyle, I'm playing both of the characters. I'm playing a... Um, what is he? What is it? What character is he? One, I know he's a fighter. Uh, 
was it? Rogue. You've got a dwarven rogue, dwarven rogue and an Orion fighter. fighter Orion yeah. being a mechanical race. So like Warforge from D D. So I'm on the left hand side currently, being attacked by skellies. Yep, okay, roll damage for this skeleton. Right. Oh, I've got Don't some points. Got some points, points, yeah. points, 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 points. Um, <clears throat> so I might go pierce armor because that's worth one, isn't it? It is, yep. And you can do mighty blower, I think it's two, and you'll still have one point left. One point to do what? Exciting. Rapid reload. Stay aware. Make a mind for anything happening around you. Perception. Uh, plus... Move yourself to t or target your t enemy. No. Is it worth doing a stay away? Because I've noticed that geezers arrived. Would that yeah, help me in any way? Actually, it may do. I'll do that. Let's see what I can get out of that. Okay, so uh, so just to attack plus one d six. Yeah. Cool. Uh plus one d six extra. Yes. So I actually found you can now right click on damage, and it will bring up the same options as oh. hold click. Okay. Yeah. 13 points of damage. That is enough to drop Smash this skeleton him. down to nothing. Okay, so, so then if I do a perception roll, I don't know if it would get me into a better position when the skelly arrives or something like that. Uh, I don't know what that could do. Roll. Let's see what I can do out of this. Oh, yeah, it does actually right. Because I just right clicked on it accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Okay, That's eleven. Good. That is a pass. Oh, it is. Well, no. Okay. The roll the test was eleven. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, what you oh, sure. hear yes. is <clears throat> a um clanking coming from behind you, the entrance you just walked in. And what sort of clanking? <laughs> like a mes As metallic kind big of giant metallic doors slamming shut. Okay, that's not great. That means the doors are shut in here. Okay. Okay. So, so the skeleton, skeleton. In, whatever's oh. in there, does not like the skeleton then? No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just seeing how much speed it has. Okay, so it has enough speed. It is going to charge over, and it is going to take a massive swing with a big giant club at... <sighs> 21, jeez. 21, nice. No skeleton, no skill points, which is nice. 17. Okay, that does do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, it's going to tickle. Yeah. Um, Ding's turn. Oh, Ding. What are you going to do? Um, oh, who did you just attack then? Did he attack Ding, did he? It attacked Ding, yes. Okay. And this other Wily Sutherland's going to one point of damage, isn't he? How annoying. He does. I know. <laughs> 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 He's not hurting me though, so I might just turn to this guy. Okay. Ding's not being hurt by this other guy, and just hope that he just no. doesn't do anything. I don't think he will do much. He'll just keep hitting me with his stick or something. Well, uh, you should be able to hit these guys. Sorry. You should be able to hit these guys. Uh, this big guy. He's. he's yeah. Big. No. Well, I'm just. I'm thinking Wily Skeleton's not going to do much damage to me, compared yeah. to big guy. So I might get try and take big guy out first. Nice. Yeah, that is a I'll hit. Oh, just one d six. Oh, one shocker. Okay. Um, I don't think that's actually going to. You know what? It while it usually wouldn't do damage, I'll give you two points of damage off on it because you've got a club, and you can see it basically breaks one of the fingers directly off. Okay. <laughs> yes. <Thank you. laughs> Uh, wiry skeleton is going to attack you. This is not his my, last attack. This is where my risk was. Oh, whatever. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am going to do one d six, and I'm going to half your armor. Oh, two oh, sixes. Whatever, whatever. Okay. Uh, what's your armor? Three, four, five. Nine. So thirteen points of damage. That's amazing, isn't it? That. Yes, that is amazing. Uh, Rando's turn. Do I get any sort of, um, being a rogue, do I get any sort of sneak attack on this guy? 
because he's not focusing um, on me. You're automatically getting a sneak attack because your dexterity has been higher than everyone. But if you were to move behind him, you'll get an automatic plus uh, flanking. You'll get an automatic plus two to your attacks. Can I do? Can you do that? Oh, yeah. yep. Let's do that. So when you roll attack, right click on it and add plus two for flanking. Roll modifier two. Yep. <sighs> Six stun points. I needed nice. that. Look at that. It's ridiculous. I got two well, ones. Well, I would six. highly recommend Pierce armor. His armor is six, so yeah. they'll drop it down to three. So let's do Pierce and armor. then lethal blow, an extra two d six. So you should oh, be rolling four d six or five d six. Probably four d six. Uh, so I get 2d6 plus 5 plus another 2d6, yeah? So 4d6. Yep. Oh, let's get some points on that. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Apply damage so 15 and points. extra 3. Wow, that drops him to more than half in one hit. Thank God for that. Yeah. I need to do something because that was a bit... Gallatin Hulk is going to take another big giant swing. Um... Because his finger is not there, not working, he sort of drops this cl great club and he swings at you with a massive claw. Four stunt points. I'm going to use that to pierce armor and lightning blow. Oh, no. Not that I rolled that high. Um, applied damage is one, two, three, four. Oh, no. Puts you to one hit point. Yeah, no. It's not good. And he can't heal, can he? He can't heal. This is not good. He can do repair, okay. but I don't know how to do repair. It is his turn. He can't. You need engineering, no, need which engineering is why the dwarf is there. Okay, so I can't do much. I'm just going to attack and hope okay. for some luck because I can't do much else, really. Well, I have just had three crits in a row. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is, you know, God rolls, so this is what you do. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, more attack. Oh, there, nice. There have it, have it back. Six points. <laughs> um, I'd definitely say lethal blow. Yeah, lethal blow. Uh, or maybe, do, no. What's the top one? Yeah, maybe lethal not lethal blow. blow. Maybe just a mighty blow. So you're losing 1d6. But if you pierce the armor, that's an extra three guaranteed damage. Um... So, okay, so 1d6 plus whatever half his armor is, or 2d6. Oh, I'm going to go lethal blow. Um, okay. Can't have you asked him, can I? No. Um, the other thing you could look at doing, you could destroy Wiry Skeleton. So if you were to mighty blow and then lightning, uh, you know, the lightning attack Do thing, a second attack on the same or another point. Yeah, I might do that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds more sensible. So lightning blow, mighty blow. Yep. Uh, I've still got one point left, but I don't know if I can do much with it. Skirmish? Uh, move yourself or target. You can, skirmish. you can move yourself or target of or target of your attack two yards in any direction from which it has to be spent. How would that help me though? Uh well, it could help by the fact that if you move more in the corner, the skeleton hulk won't be able to reach you. Because he can't walk over the pillar. Oh, well, let's let's do that then. Okay, cool. Perfect. Cool. So you get your two attacks. So do damage with this with an extra 1d6 and then do a second attack. So extra dice 1d6. Some luck, please. Sixes would be nice. That's fine. I will do that. He's down to 11 hit points. Okay, and then I'll do my second attack or second hit. Second attack on second the other attack. guy. And... Oh, the wiry skeleton, is that the one? Oh, really? <laughs> like, are you doing a second attack, or which one are you doing? I was doing lightning. Was it doing lightning attack? What was it called? Um, let me have a look at the handouts. Oh, I've closed so, it now. Oh, close it. Oh, no, I've got it. Oh, yeah, so you were doing lightning attack, not dual strike. Well, okay, so what was the difference between the two of them? Can I uh, dual strike means you basically keep swinging and you automatically kill the wiry skeleton. Oh, well, then that would make more sense, wouldn't it, to do that? It would. So <laughs> <laughs> it basically means that damage. Sorry, I'd done that wrong. My bad. 
and that has basically killed the wiry skeleton and now you can move over to this corner okay and it is Rando the fourth's turn. Oh, come on, Rando. We've got this. Has he still got his back to me? He does. Perfect. Okay, so he's still focusing him. I get uh, plus two for attack. Is that right? Correct. Again, Especially then. if you... Well, if you aim, it puts it up to plus four. Oh, well, let's do that then. Aim. aim and then right click to a plus two. Two. Attack. 18. That is a hit. No stunts, but it's a hit. Oh, I needed stunts, really, but here we go. Um, so 1d6, 2d6 plus 5. Nine points. Nine, Nine points. Did it go over his armor? Um, it did not go over his armor. His armor is six. Oh, so it did go over his armor, then, because it's nine. We got nine points damage. Armor nine. Health is... That's... Oh, of course, it's piercing. So it ignores armor entirely. Oh, yeah, oh. remember? It's a piercing weapon. So that means, yeah, yeah, very piercing, isn't it? So that means the last yeah. attacker was more damage as well, surely. Yeah, sorry, I shouldn't have been telling you to use lightning attack, uh, piercing attack, because it's automatically it's piercing. piercing. That's right, it is his turn. He is going to move over there, and he's trying to claw at you. Um, that doesn't really work, so he will turn around and make a claw attack at Rando. And I think that is, that's oh. a success. Um, it's not going to do too much. The no. core attack doesn't do that much damage. Okay, six. Oh, yeah. We roll a six, though. You know. Holy crap. That does quite a lot. Um, it does punch you back a bit. Okay. Grandioso's dings. Your turn. Oh, he's quite tempted to take a step up and smash him, you know. Yeah, the guy has two hit points left. Oh, let's do this. This could be his last effort to do anything because he might just die now, <laughs> but hey, it's worth it. Take a step, do a charge. Yep. Do an charge, angry, so aim. angry yelling charge. That's a success. <sighs> Three, eight points of damage. He has... So uh, whoops, I was targeting the wrong person. Sometimes the target just doesn't quite no, work. No, it doesn't. It's weird, isn't it? You almost have to click away. And... Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, now it's got me targeting two people. Oh, uh, that's uh, uh. special. That's weird. With that, he actually crumples down. You got no, you just enough. No, you've killed me. You've killed me. Careful. Sorry. Sorry. Wrong person. There we go. Wow. Um, you are able to crumple and destroy him. As you do that, you hear the doors open again, and you get this um, sort of wispy visage of a... What is it called? Angry what? Angry, Angry Spectre. <laughs> he comes out, he sort of hovers over the bones, and then he looks at uh, Broken Rando and hisses, but then he looks at Ding, and he sort of nods its head and he's like is it over it's over it's done and is the witch dead no the witch is not dead the witch disappeared she's fortified herself in the house again hasn't she she has yeah do you know any way of opening the door or getting in there or uh, can we burn the place I... down <laughs> simple as fire <laughs> <laughs> no she puts the fire out straight away she has caused this frost and she's tormented my family for years uh so is this place now do you think that was the last of the skeletons and the oh no she'll beasts? be back she will raise these skeletons and she'll send more adventurers into their doom just okay. to annoy me so we need some way of defeating the the spells that she's got on you it's it's that potion she keeps sending the people in with. I I couldn't move out because that because vial trapped. was sitting there until you destroyed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay. you've got one in your hand, haven't you? Yeah, I can get rid of it though. That's not a problem. Before doing that, we I I've been can trying we, to think. Yeah, can we do anything to it to like experiment on it or something? Like, have you got any um anywhere we can work on it? I have a little bit of arcane knowledge. Might be able to help. Well, 
she she got some water and air elementals and convinced them to duke it out which caused this ice mix the water and air together you get very cold so um, they've both gone now both of those elementals are gone oh that puts a damper on things <laughs> why is that <laughs> I was hoping we could maybe use one of them. Maybe to blow something down. I don't know. They are pretty strong. With If we you might, could somehow get, get the, the air back again. I'm not sure if it'll come How back, would you get the air back? Can we use that um, device? The devi it, it takes a great mage quite a bit of power to unlock that device. Oh, well, we unlocked it last time. That's how we managed to defeat the water elemental. Oh. Um, okay. Unless that was yes. just luck. <laughs> but that's what we managed to do. <laughs> I'm not, if it was luck, I don't care. If it works, what we need is... Basically, I would say throw the vial. It's the necromantic power and potion within the vial. If we do that and then we whip it up, it may break her door down and force her out. Oh, okay. Why is the throne room so warm? Uh, it was the one, the magic that she was using to keep my bones alive. Oh, okay. This, yes, it tends to do something with her, you know, it, necromancy and elemental magic doesn't work very well together, so... Yeah. Okay. Well, we can go back and try. It wasn't. It was relatively straightforward trying to open up the uh, the portal. Yep. Last you time. guys can unlock it again. Okay. So, so, do we'll... you want to try and take on the switch? Well, we could do. We could leave it for next time. We can go. Okay. Up, uh... I feel like I need to heal we this guy. <laughs> um, okay. So, with the healing, I want you to do a um, a what is that test? Engineering, Engineering test. test. <clears throat> Okay, um, that is a pass, and he will get six plus what is your intelligence? Uh, plus one. One plus the engineering, so seven. So he will get nine points of health back. Oh, perfect. Okay. And um, I might. Uh, Sorry, and yep. the rando will not back one as well, not back one of his potions. Okay, cool. So roll and add your constitution. Roll 2d6. I'll let you. Okay, Safe. 15, uh, sorry, 7, 8. So it, an extra 8 points of health back puts you up to 8 plus 23 is what, uh, 21? 8 30, plus 13? 31. 31. Oh, 14, yeah, 23. Hey, what was it? <laughs> You're on 13. Okay, so 22. 13 plus 8 is 22. Is it, or...? No, it's 21, isn't it? Oh, 21, yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, my brain had gone. Yeah, no. Um, so you can't take any uh, more direct healing unless you use your last health potion, but I will let you make two more engineering tests on Rando, uh, on Ding. I think we should fix Ding's. Ding's looking pretty sad. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Okay. Skill points, no, 19. Skill points. Okay, in that case, um, roll an extra 2d6. So 3d6? So roll 2d6, sorry. So the test is usually your stunt points um, plus your intelligence engineering, which is 3. So you rolled 5, 6, 7, 8, and you get another 7 on top of that, which is 13 more hit points up on him. So he's up to 23. Oh, brilliant. We might as well keep going. This is going well. Okay, one more. <clears throat> well, he's at full health. Doesn't matter, he's at full health. <laughs> You're easily able to repair the robot. Excellent, okay. Okay, so... Um, yeah, with that, we can basically... We can finalise this fight, or we can do this next week. Let's do it next week. I think we're going two okay. and a half hours now, we so. Was it five o'clock? We have, yes. yeah, so. Oh, it was ten past after we got all the stuff sorted. 
Yeah, let's call it. Let's do it next week. We'll make it a double, cool. a double kind of. Okay, and after that, what I want to do is um, not next week. Then, if we'll do this one, um, we'll do this, and we can finish off this little adventure. But after that, what I would like is we take our top randos that everybody likes and we level them to level four and then we're going to do an epic fight against something much bigger Ooh, okay yes and i might bring uh brett and ruth in because they were the ones who played last week so if yeah they want to level up their two characters to level four and you take um your favorite rando level him up to level four yeah these guys have been awesome actually they've been quite a good team these guys they have very good actually having a dwarf that can repair a robot that just doesn't take damage unless i roll with <laughs> unless you run free crits in a row yeah <laughs> yeah but, but hey the... you you survived down to one hit point i know and it was a bit of a risk at the end i was like ah, oh, let's just go for it this could be end this could be all over <laughs> now but yeah it works out and even the rogue's pretty handy as well which is nice like in hand to hand yeah uh, it's that light blades have an accuracy light blades you get in a plus four which basically puts you on a par with the highest fighter you've made so far Oh, okay. Because that first guys were pretty good, weren't they, as well? Those first characters I, rolled were pretty good. I think so. That was the one where you found the unicorn, the unicorn, correct? Yeah, they were really good characters. Yeah. Well, we haven't found bad characters. We've done bad roles, but we haven't found bad yeah, characters. Yeah, true. Yeah, I can't we just play them to their strengths, don't we? So. Yeah. Cool. That was, okay. That was cool. Oh, well, I will go to activate the splash screen. Voila, one splash screen. And Carl joined us halfway through as well, and he's still watching. Oh, nice. Uh, oh. He's must be on your Twitch. He's on my Twitch, yeah. Tony's there. Yep. Hope you enjoyed it, Tony. Sound a bit different. Cool. Um, I'm also most of the way, like I've done some tests creating modern age randos, and I'm going to start working on the expanse. So most of the things are there. I just don't have nice sheets where I can show you what weapons awesome. and armor and that sort of stuff but we can still run with whatever weapons you want so we can start um, the next phase once we do the level up we can look at doing some modern age randos oh yeah Kyle. Uh, we can pick a genre i don't know what type of genre i was thinking we could either do some sort of western or some sort of future war or some kind of like i'm quite partial to 1920s adventure like you know the mummy or an indiana jones style oh, stuff that'd be fun okay yeah it just we'll have to tweak a little bit we won't be able to play ones that have computer science yes or cybernetics Probably or stuff like that reasons, yeah. but we can we can make changes to that mm -hmm. well you could have it in theory really yeah yeah we'll work something out but yeah basically we can start moving on to modern age mm-hmm which right, cool. uh, it plays the same way you just don't have classes yeah i've done vampires before um which doesn't really have vampire it uh, doesn't really have classes as such you just have vampires you have familiars and that's all that we did that in modern times as well that's quite fun oh nice was that vampire masquerade yeah yeah i think so yeah nice it was, yeah it was fun it's like 20 years ago <laughs> not longer <laughs> but yeah no it was real good because we did it around our area as well plymouth in the uk so we were literally walking down streets that we knew when we were doing stuff Oh, wow. That is awesome. Yeah, it was real fun. So we could do something like that as well. We could. Uh, just make it modern we... day and kind of make it like normal things happening at worst. Yeah. Um, sort of a twist. I mean, there's so much stuff we can do. Modern age just, it takes you from, you can do high sea pirate adventures. You can technically run it fantasy because it does have the same magic system. Um, right through to like they've just released cyberpunk they're about to release call of cthulhu they've got a dystopic but a future one similar to hunger games style thing in there they've got a real random one where you can teleport between different realms um i think the dark tower you remember that movie yeah, the course. stephen king no yeah. i remember the book the book's better than the movie but yeah you know it often is with stephen king mm-hmm um basically it's the same as that you teleport to different realms and it's called threefold because you've got the earth where you can teleport to different varying histories and stages of earth you've then got your hellscapes and all that sort of stuff and then you've got your fey so you've got all your magic and that sort of stuff yeah, right okay 
and then you can go right on to i've played a stargate one in there um you can do star wars technically can run in this system uh star trek pretty much any sort of i think i've done a dark dark matter that sci-fi oh yeah um yeah, because it's got rules. You just use the expanse rules for space combat, and you can do full-on space combat with, you know, full ships. You can have the whole crew working ship, all sorts. I'm getting hassle from the Twitch. Um, so Carl says, <laughs> have you got any questions for tomorrow's po podcast, tomorrow night's podcast? Do I have any questions? Yes, he's asking. Oh, I hadn't thought of any questions. Um, what game are you looking forward to this year? That would be my big one. Okay. There you go. And Carl. do you think any oh. Bethesda games are coming out? Because we <laughs> Star uh, what is it? Starfield or Starfield, yep. Yeah, Starfield is maybe possibly coming out, but there's also high rumors that um Elder Scrolls Six could be there. Elder Scrolls Six is not coming out. And Norse Fable uh, five, four, five. not? No, I don't think so. Not this year. Elder Scrolls I mean, still... You know Bethesda's sort of thing, they don't really release a game. Um, well, if they release a game, they announce it at, what is it, PAX or E3, E3? I think. E3? Yeah. Every game they are releasing, they, rele they announce at E3 and then release later that year, about three months later. So there were heaps of rumours of Fallout 4, and then suddenly there's Fallout 4. Uh, yeah, I I don't I don't, I think Starfield's all they got coming out this year. I think nothing else is coming out. Okay. But because E three is a bit yeah. weird this year as well. Because I think Microsoft's it? not being in it, and there's a few people, big companies pulled out of, of E three this year. How come? Oh, they're just not. <laughs> they're just not doing it. I don't know because I think they do their own thing now, don't they? <clears throat> a lot of them. True. Yeah. Yeah, that's possible why they've been pulling out. Okay. Interesting. I mean, they yeah. Well, if Microsoft's not going to be there, we're not going to hear anything from Obsidian, from Relic, Bethesda, or exactly. Bethesda. Yeah. Yep. Um, I would like to see if this acquisition of Activision Blizzard goes through. I think it will, because PlayStation have really screwed up now. Um, there's been a whole bunch of stuff come out in the last week, but I did a bunch of, um, what do you call it, when the, they go and ask to see information. And the lawyers come along and say, actually, we want to see this information now. They do like a, a oh, show. Wow. And all the stuff stuff's came out from PlayStation, how they've been kind of going behind the back and going to the EU and kind of giving them information. Huh. So they've been, been a bit caught out now, so I think it's all going to go through reasonably quickly now. Yeah. Um, like August time, probably. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's been a big screw up. That will be cool, because if it that happens... Be. Diablo, uh, what is it? Diablo 4. Diablo 4 yes. in June. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it and we'll hopefully get it if Microsoft buy them out straight on to Game Pass. They will. Yeah, yeah. It's day one day. Uh, not day one because if it comes out in June, I don't think we're going to get it in June. Um, yeah. But it would be great if they could get it day one. That'd be amazing. Well, if they follow with Diablo 3, it won't be worth getting it for at least no, it'll be three broken. Four Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So. Excellent. Well, thank you for playing. No, thanks, mate. It was good. It was good that you did a little yeah. adventure as well. And yeah, you... I wanted to try something different, so I kind of planned this a bit as more of a, not just a hack and slash. Yes, that was good. Different ways of actually dealing with things. Yes. And you didn't roll crits the whole way through it as well, which was nice. <laughs> I know. We actually, we do our, um, oh, what is it, Thursday night we've done uh, Curse of Strahd. I'm not DMing it. It's one of the few games I don't DM, which is fun. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm a player, and we kind of went into, we're all level five. We went into a room with six vampires in there, and there's only three of us. And I don't know the CR rating of vampires, but I'm assuming they're incredibly high. And uh, the DM rolled, I think maybe five crits in a row basically in one round he dropped me the tank and half dropped the other dps <laughs> wow that's sad that was scary i yeah. mean he had advantage on all his rolls and he just 20. he actually would lift up the dm screen and it's like yep and that's just like a roll again yeah so that was fun yeah 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 makes for a quick game if you will die though Unfortunately, yeah, and I was just getting attached to my. Yeah, that's character. the worst about losing characters, and you kind of get attached to them. I've been lucky. I don't no, think I've had many die. I had one die when I wasn't there, 
because I was off, I was busy doing something that night, and then one of the guys screwed up a roll, and everyone in the whole party died. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, because he had to do something, and if he didn't do it properly, then the, everyone died, and he didn't, and my lost my character not being there, which really annoyed uh, me. But yeah, that sucks. Yeah, they're like, well, you should have been there. You could have helped out. I was like, yeah, but my characters did. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well. Hello, yeah, cool. hello, well, one eight six in the chat. You are a bit late, to be honest. Hello, yo, one eight six. Who's saying that? Evening, Me. yo, one. Ah, oh, I was wondering about that. That's right. You are logged into my account. Ah, oh, because it comes as YouTube. I do both at the same time when I say stuff. Yeah, so it's popping up your Twitter chats, popping up in my YouTube. Yeah, chat. Yeah, infecting your YouTube <laughs> or Twitter. <laughs> I'm not worried. Cool. Well, thank you for that. I'm going to oh, go cheers, make mate. a and have some dinner yeah i think the same yeah goodbye goodbye viewers yes goodbye and see you